Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, a federal judge has ruled that a couple may pursue their lawsuit against a California police officer who killed their dog during a police visit to their home. Erica Gregory and Lauren Molner say that an officer was sent to their home to speak about an ongoing fraud investigation. Officer Chase Calhoun stated that when he entered the couple's yard and walked toward the front door, he saw their two dogs coming towards him and believed he was going to be attacked. The officer fired two rounds and killed one of the dogs. A prisoner whose confession helped free a death row inmate in a case that was instrumental to ending capital punishment in Illinois was released Thursday after he recanted. And a prosecutor said there was powerful evidence that the other man was responsible. All Story Simon's confession gained international attention in 1999, largely due to an investigation by a journalism professor and a team of students from Northwestern University that helped secure Anthony Porter's release just days before he was to be executed. He had spent 16 years on death row for slangs that he and his supporters maintained he did not commit. The Madison Water Utility Board affirmed its support for keeping fluoride in the city's water supply Tuesday night, approving a slightly tweaked policy after a review process. The board endorsed the policy in a 4-1 to vote, according to spokeswoman Amy Barilow. After a lengthy public comment period that included supporters and opponents of fluoridation, they moved ahead with that endorsement. Madison has had fluoride in its water since 1948. A June report by Public Health Madison and Dane County said fluoridation helps promote oral health by preventing tooth decay, especially among poor residents. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Margie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. Support also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 31st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Wednesday, prosecutors charged a Baltimore police officer with assault and perjury after the officer was caught on camera beating someone and lying about it. Officer Vincent E. Cosum Jr. was seen on a surveillance camera attacking Colin Truss at a bus stop. Cosum originally lied and said Truss assaulted him and he defended himself. The video proved the officer was lying and all charges against Truss were dropped. Cosum was charged with perjury for providing a false statement as well as second-degree assault. The verdict comes as the Department of Justice has announced they are launching an investigation into brutality from the BPD. Ride-sharing service Lyft has stated that the company will leave Houston if a recently passed ordinance. Ride-sharing service Lyft has stated that the company will leave Houston, Texas if a recently passed ordinance does not change. The company is opposed to the ordinance's requirements for fingerprinting drivers, government drug tests, medical exams, and other inconvenient in-person processes. A statement from Lyft called the City of Houston's licensing scheme onerous and incompatible with our peer-to-peer -peer model. The ordinance was passed in an attempt to legalize ride-sharing services such as Uber and Lyft. Instead, the ride-sharing companies feel as if they're being forced to operate under a licensing system similar to taxis. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 31st, 2014. We hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Did you know that 35% of high school girls report that they've only had sex with one or two partners a year instead of having the living shit f out of them by any guy they see? Did you know that only half of all 17-year-old males report f without a condom, even though it's really the only way to go? There are thousands of American teenagers today who are unaware of the full benefits of f your brains out all day, every day. 
these otherwise average high schoolers haven't been taught about f***ing every chance you get, pounding each other dry and never ever pulling out. Every sexually active high school student should know this stuff. Ditch the condoms, because it's always better raw. Stop worrying about STDs. F*** every chance you get. Just keep f***ing and f***ing and f***ing. Strangers, doesn't matter who. And most importantly, be direct with your partner about how badly you want to f*** their brains out. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live, yet another Saturday edition of the program. We will take your calls about whatever's on your mind. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. In the studio tonight, you have Ian. And Mark. And, of course, you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Don't forget, we also have Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. So uh, it's Keenvention weekend, and uh, I'm not as out of it today as I was uh, last night. I've been running a convention. We call it the Keenvention here in Keen, New Hampshire. It's a an activist gathering of uh, well, probably just about a hundred people. I would say a little over that, maybe by the time the weekend's over. And uh, they're preparing for the Halloween costume dance party that we're going to miss most of. Uh, Mark, you and I, because we're here live. We're yeah. doing a live radio show on Saturday nights. If you want to learn more about Keenvention, go to keenvention.info. If you've been thinking about checking out New Hampshire as a destination for uh, for freedom lovers, for people who love the ideas of liberty, Keenvention's a great excuse to come check it out. Uh, and there was a really awesome uh, speech this evening by James Cleveland, a.k.a. Robin Hood. Those of you who've been listening to the show for a long time, you know about the Robin Hooders of Keene who have rescued thousands of motorists from getting parking tickets. If you don't know about Robin Hooding, you should Google Robin Hood Keene, and you'll find all kinds of interesting news about that. But Mark, there was something on your mind here tonight that you thought worthy of discussion, specifically in reference to, I guess we got the election coming up in a few days. Right, and we don't do we don't spend a lot of time talking about elections on uh, Free Talk Live. No, they're boring, and we don't endorse candidates on Most Free Talk Live. Most of them are Live. scumbags, right, and those kind of things. So, but I, I guess. I, I, I experienced a certain level of frustration when it comes to elections. I believe that we would be better served if we had a third party, a strong third party to give people options. And I am not alone. Hmm. There's a Gallup poll that uh, was done over you know the summer and early fall. And it said that for Americans, both Republicans and Democrats, they, uh, they claim that they do such a poor job Excuse me. It's Americans, both uh, for Americans, both Republicans and Democrats do such a poor job that 58 percent of people polled in the U.S. believe that an additional political party is necessary to bolster the U.S. political process. So 58 percent of people want a third party. All right. Third parties are reality in you know countries around the world. This is really common in uh, Europe and sort of the Western civilized countries to have a third party. But. Did- not here in the United States. Do you think the 58% realize there are third parties in the United States? I Well, they say they, want, they a want one strong third party. Oh, a strong third party. And it's really pretty obvious what the difference between a strong third party is and a weak third party. We've never seen a strong third party, at least in our lifetimes. No, there really hasn't been. Um, even in, in U.S. history, there really hasn't been a strong third party. The yeah. Republican-Democrats split, Democratic-Republicans or whatever they were, split into what we have today and sort of the, I think it was the Whigs. The Whigs. Went away. Um, all in very I say quickly. bring back the Whigs. Yeah. I'm sure I don't know what they stood delightful, for. Delightful uh, <laughs> folks, I'm sure. Um, and this is... But the difference between a strong uh, third party and a weak third party is is votes, right? Okay. So 58% of the people listening to me, and maybe even higher, because actually talk radio listeners tend to skew more independent than, you know, people are listening to crazy train one I, more time or whatever. I don't know if you have this information. I'm just asking. Probably maybe not. It, it's got it. It would have it in the uh, the details about how the poll was conducted. Did they poll all Americans yes, or likely Americans. voters? So this is Americans. Okay. And uh, so, but I mean, and, and obviously Americans don't necessarily vote. Because I suspect in, likely voters would be less interested in a third party. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. I don't know the answer either. But people want options. 
The mm-hmm. only way to get options, are, however, is to, you know, if you, if you want a third option in cell phone companies, somebody needs to buy plans from that cell phone company. If you want a third option in political parties, you need to vote for the third option. Now, here's my frustration. I've been hearing about that libertarian that's going to win for several years. Uh, you know, there's always been that one guy. He's got the chance. He could really get in office, that guy. Mm-hmm. And right now, that guy is probably Adrian Wiley down in Florida running for governor. Currently, Florida has two guys that were Republican governors that they weren't happy enough to keep in office, really, mm-hmm. um, that are well, now one of running for the office. Right? He is the incumbent, yes. Okay. Uh, but they're not, it's, it's a really close race, and he's likely, quite, could possibly lose. Mm. And it's, of course, if he does lose, it'll be the libertarian's fault, not the fact that he was, you know, not a great governor or whatever. Okay. Um, but Wiley is far and ab- removed the superior candidate. He's an intellectual. He's, uh, he, you know, he's he can connect with the people. He's out there campaigning. He's doing everything right. He should win this because he's the best candidate. And well, the libertarians usually are the best candidates. Not I mean, always. Some, Sometimes they feel nuts. But there's some of them who are not very good at communicating the ideas of liberty, but at least their ideas are better than the Republicans and Democrats. It's just they they never get a chance to communicate those ideas. I saw the Florida. Uh, there was right, he was some, kept out of the debate. Right, uh, right. A couple of our listeners in Florida, actually one of our listeners, uh, John Kurtz in the Orlando area, uh, he posted on his Facebook this video, this ridiculous video. Uh, from the debate, have you seen the fan video from the Florida debate? No. So there, uh, I don't. I think it was actually Charlie Crist is one of the two that's that's running. Right. He's on stage, ready to debate. The other guy, oh, the f- I see the video about the fan. Gotcha. Yeah, the I other know. guy uh, would ref- was refusing Scott. to come out, and the reason he was refusing to come out to debate was because this the Christ guy had a fan underneath the podium. So the two podiums set up for the debate, of course, leaving out the third for the libertarian guy, who's apparently polling fairly well. Uh, and underneath this podium, the fan is blowing up. So I guess it's you know it's, it's hot, it's Florida or something like that. Uh, he's nervous or something, he needs a fan. He needs a fan. Uh, and these debates that they have have all kinds of rules. And you know the, the temperature in the auditorium must be between 70 sure. and 71 degrees. The, and The shorter candidate can't have his phone book to stand on, you know, those kind of things. There's all kinds of dumb rules. And I guess one of them is you can't have a fan. So because the guy had a fan on stage, the other off the, the Scott. other character was uh, was going to refuse to debate. And I guess they did eventually get him to somehow he coax so him silly. to coax him to come out. It wasn't him. It was likely his aide that was saying, oh, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? Fans. Um, so, you know, he's keeping his guy back. You know, yeah, well, whatever. It looked really bad. It but looks also, really bad. But also the other guy, Chris. He's out on stage, and he's trying to actually talk about what was going on, but the media wouldn't even let him speak. So the whole situation was pretty ridiculous. And let's just extrapolate this 58% number to Florida. Let's say 58% of Floridians want to have a viable third party. Of those Floridians that go vote, I'm just guessing. If if the experience that I have had up to this point with third-party candidates continues to hold true— we will wake up on uh, mon- Wednesday morning, and Adrian Wiley will not be the governor, the, the governor elect of Florida. And hopefully, he'll be one step closer to moving to New Hampshire. Well, I would love to, love to have that, but <laughs> that's just sort of really beside the point. Yeah. Here's my question. My question to you, the radio audience, is: Is the United States too stupid, too ignorant, too bullheaded for a third party? Because If you get the government that you deserve, and this is a truism that we've been given all our lives, you deserve two stinking, lying parties that have treated you terrible your whole lives, and you think that this next time that comes around, they'll suddenly be better. Like, you deserve that. That's your future because you have you have worked your way into it. You've been petrified every election. Oh, my God, those other guys are going to get in if I don't just vote for my for the my party's guy. I agree a little bit more with the blue team or the red team, so I've got to mm. vote for this group of liars and thieves because that group of liars and thieves is so much worse. Hmm. Well, I don't know if saying they're stupid is uh, is the right thing. Doing to the do, same Mark. thing over and over again and expecting a different result is what? 
Well, that's definitely not a smart thing I think that's the definition of insanity, uh, but I'm yeah. going to call it stupid in this case. Uh, okay, but at the same time, this could be based in fear, right? Like, people are afraid. People that continue to be f- afraid every single election, every two years, from the same thing over and over again, are stupid. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you want a third party, if you're one of those 58%, what are you doing about it? If are, you don't want a third party, explain to me why. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can take control here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges on your jacket. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm.
Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here. The number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. couple questions on the table, Mark. You had asked, you're talking about 58% of Americans, according to some survey, uh, say they support the idea of having a, a strong third party uh, from which to choose. But yet, nobody votes for a third party. So how are you ever going to get a strong third party if nobody ever puts any time or money or effort behind the existing third parties well, time uh, and money nobody puts that in behind very few people put that in behind their political parties but a vote i mean a statistically insignificant act yeah. like voting and i'm going to back that up here in a second because i think it's really important to point out that your vote isn't worth much so you had asked it are is the united states too stupid which is kind of a weird question because the united states is a collection of states uh you mean the people that live within those boundaries are they too i don't believe stupid? in collective statements anyway but i do think that that groups tend to have this their own psychology hmm. and there is an electorate out there um and that electorate republican or democrat all across the country doesn't seem to be able to handle a third party well you also asked the question if you're against a third party because there are a lot of people who are against the idea at all i mean you know 42 percent or whatever well 58 percent are for uh, a third party but 42 aren't necessarily against i mean Some there's, undecided. there's always the people that think that they you know they, they can't figure out who the vice president is and can't find the united states on a, on a global map so if you're against the third party then why is that you're welcome to answer those or share any of your thoughts on whatever you want to Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. You can get a free pound of coffee right now. You can get a free pound of coffee shipped to you if you go to coffee.freetalklive.com. It's a subscription program. You can cancel it at any time. You can get your free pound and, you know, just uh, get lost if that's what you want to do. It's cool. It's delicious coffee. It's shade-grown. It's 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica beans. It's likely to be among the best coffee you've tasted in your life. What's different about BuzzBox Coffee, the coffee that we will uh, provide for you at coffee.freetalklive.com, is that they give some of the proceeds. They give the proceeds, some of the proceeds to us to be able to give out in the form of microloans through Kiva.org. We've teamed up with Kiva in order to, what we believe is, change the world. Because I believe that nobody knows better what you need in your life than you. And I think this holds true for people around the world. So therefore, when they ask for a loan, whether it's for you know more equipment for their restaurant or whether it's to buy a sewing machine or to buy a plow or to fix their car so that they can drive a taxi whatever their reason is it's always to make more money and i believe when you can help somebody make a better living that they're going to have a better life for themselves their family and their community and that's important to me if it's important to you Get coffee. Get your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Likely, you drink coffee every day. Well, just get the go. Go get the subscription there at coffee.freetalklive.com, and you'll have all your coffee problems taken care of. You can change how often you get it shipped to you. You can get whatever type of coffee you want to have. Uh, you want to try out. It's great. I use it. Every single day, it's, it's awesome. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to your calls and your thoughts. Third parties, what do you think? Let's go to John listening in Charleston, West Virginia, to WVTS. Hey, John. Hey, man. Uh, I don't think people are stupid. Uh, Me neither. I think, that, I think that, you know, if you're a voting Democrat, you're a victim of propaganda, and that. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. You you're, think that Republicans aren't victims of propaganda? Only to a point. Uh, I think they're if they can uh, make uh, a sweep for the Senate, uh, they're going to try to restore some of the basic stuff that we need. You know that the Republicans were in them. office from 2000 to 2006. They held the Senate the House, and the White House, right? So if they wanted to restore anything, they would have done it in the six years that they held it during the Bush administration. Uh, Bush was the problem. And I'm not— I'm Bush not didn't, ve ve whoa, 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 whoa. Bush didn't veto Bush. anything. This is really important to you. Bush didn't veto anything in those first six years. He's not the problem. Uh, okay. When we elected Obama, people wanted change. But Obama's change is is insanity. I mean that that's just my point. I mean, you you can't do that. You, I think you you're deluded, basic, uh, sir. 
I think you're deluded. Yeah, he hasn't think, changed anything. I, right? I just, <laughs> you think the Republicans, the when they get in the this point. time, are going to fix anything. something, but they didn't six years ago because Bush was uh, at fault, but he didn't veto anything, and then you immediately started rambling on about Obama. He's bringing in illegal workers, and, and they're taking— Illegal people were coming in under Bush. Obama has exported more people—excuse um, me, uh, sent more people out of the country than, than Bush did. He's he's more me- deluded. I'm not saying Mexicans. I, I, you know that's taboo. You can't say, well, only the Mexicans are coming up because that would make me racist, right? Uh, no, that wouldn't make you racist. That would just make you ignorant. There are people coming to the United States from all around the world. Right, and see, they bring their own culture with them whenever they do this. What's the problem uh, we, with that? What's have it have to do with the third party? Uh, if you look at Ferguson. There's a big culture problem right there. I mean, Mexicans uh, setting things on fire in, in Ferguson? <laughs> no, not Mexicans. I mean, black people are mad because they think they're being oppressed by white people. I'm I reasonably mean, certain they came here long before you were born, culture. sir. Huh? I'm reasonably certain those uh, black people's ancestors came here long before you and I were born. Well, see, uh, white people brought them over here. I think uh, black people have earned the right to be here. They pretty much built this country. Um, I don't really understand what you're getting at at this point. I'm totally lost. What's your point? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, my point is uh, we we just need to start from a basic model, and I think we need to get Republicans in there to restore that. Hold on a second. Is it just me? Mark, work. am I living in a, a fugue state, or did uh, Republicans have control of the Senate and the House, and the presidency for, what, like six years? We know precisely what Republicans are going to do, because they did it. Republicans grew the government faster than the Democrats. They had the largest expansion of government intrusion in the the medical era until Obama came along. We know what Republicans do. Right, so you had Republican control from, what was it, 00 to 06? That's correct. Uh, What what happened to the government then, John? Uh, What about ISIS? Okay, that's not an answering the question. You haven't at all. answered one question. Are you aware of that? Uh, you're not. I, I don't know. What, what, right. you, what was the question? Oh, okay. Okay. So you had said you got to start, you know, start no, over I or said whatever. You get the government you deserve. Yeah. And all John did was prove me okay. right. <laughs> John, uh, you seem to think that the Republicans are going to do something for you. And uh, why wouldn't they have done it back in the year 2000 through 2006 when they had total control? Can you explain that? Huh? Oh, Bush? Bush? I've right. said that. Because he's not a real Republican, so but Bush. Not... Bush didn't veto anything. So <laughs> how could he be the problem? He never stopped uh, the Republicans from doing anything. Maybe they were afraid of his veto. Yeah, that's right. They were petrified. They had complete control of the House, the the, the Senate, and and the uh, White House, and they were petrified. Thanks, John, for the call tonight. Very entertaining. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I know we need Jeb Bush in there. He would really show him how it's done. I think Hillary Clinton will stop him. All right, more coming up here in moments. Of course, I'm kidding. Uh, it's eight, ridiculous. 855-450-FREE. Whoever wins in 2014 in 2016, we will lose. Free Talk Live. Hi, I'm John Rainey, Chief Financial Officer of United Airlines, and I'm honored to be the National Chair for the 2015 March for Babies campaign for the March of Dimes. United is a proud supporter of the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more mothers have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Please join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit marchofdimes.org. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. 
I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. You may dial in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We're talking about third parties. Americans say they want a strong third party, but don't really seem to be willing to do anything about it. They're not even willing to vote for one, uh, for the most part. Maybe there's like 1% or 3% of Americans who will bother to vote for any given third party in a three-way race. They do tend to vote for them more often in a two-way race. Uh, because then the so-called spoiler effect isn't uh, isn't happening. And this is one of the big reasons why uh, people won't vote for a third party, even though they might actually agree more with that third party than the big two, the Republicans and Democrats, because they'll claim that they're worried that they, if they don't vote for the one of the two big parties, that their vote will be uh, well, their vo vote will be wasted on the third party candidate. They are so concerned well, about the other party winning. That... Your vote is wasted if your party loses, because so I mean you know we're going to have Scott uh, and we're talking about the Florida uh, race and for governor here. Not that it, uh, this could be any state, yeah. but it's uh, Scott and Christ and Wiley. They're running. Wiley's the Libertarian, and. Uh, uh, you know, your vote for either if Chris wins, then all the votes for Scott were wasted. All the ones were for Wiley were wasted, too, essentially, except maybe uh, Wiley will get enough to be on the ballot or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but that rationale doesn't convince anybody in advance. We'll come back to it here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Your call's coming up. Is privacy dead? Not if we have anything to say about it. November the 7th and 8th, coming up real soon, less than a week, uh, coders... 
privacy specialists and idea people of all stripes are going to join together for Hack the Trackers. It's a transparency and privacy hackathon brought to you by Ghostery. You can enter online or join them in person in New York City to create tools that make the web more transparent or help users manage to uh, the amount of data they share. It's going to be amazing just to see what these people come up with. The hacks will be judged by experts and voted on by an online community, and winners will receive a prize package including the all-new Black Phone, a secure-by-design smartphone for people who recognize a need for privacy and want a simple, secure place to start. Participation is free, and registration is open right now. Visit Hack. TheTrackers.com for more information. HackTheTrackers.com. Ian, I did get a little bit of information during the break. Turns out George mm. Bush did veto one bill Ooh. in 2006. So we said from 2000 to 2006 he didn't veto any bills. Turns and, out that the whole reason the Republicans couldn't get their uh, their their message out there, they couldn't get what they wanted, was because Bill, uh, excuse me, George Bush vetoed the Stem Cell Research Enhancement Act of 2005. <laughs> it's ludicrous to think this. So well, here's that's what, what our last caller was suggesting. Yeah. Um, so here's what's really important to me is y you should understand math. If you're going to vote, you should understand math. Can you give us a math lesson here in a moment? I'd rather talk to Kevin in Virginia Beach. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Kevin. Dink. Okay. Um, it's not that I think the American people are stupid. Uh, in some ways, I think they're a little lazy. They don't want to go out and learn about a third party. You know, they don't want they, they want the information fed to them in some ways. And the Republicans and Democrats make sure that that does not happen. Because in the 2012 election cycle, for example, Gary Johnson, at the time a Republican, was one of the first people to announce that he was going to seek the nomination. The second Republican debate happened in New Hampshire. Gary Johnson wasn't invited. Do you know who was invited? Michelle Bachman, who hadn't even announced she was running yet. <laughs> yep. So Now, Gary made the first one, but for whatever reason didn't make the second one. And I think that Gary Johnson's campaign was probably heard early on because he was like the second Ron Paul. Um, and, you know, Ron had been around in the 2008 campaign. I don't think that this is valid logic. I'm just, I'm speculating. Well, it, I mean, what it comes down to, and you were pointing it out earlier, down in Florida, they were having the governor's debate. There were two podiums. There are three people running. Yeah. But there are two podiums. And, the, and, and especially on the presidential debates, I mean, I know the libertarians have to, you have to kind of start small and build your way up. But even so, the presidential debates are run by the Republicans and the Democrats. Sure. It's true. They have absolutely no incentive. Let me ask you this. Uh, third party. Let me ask you this about the debate in Florida. Why would anyone listen to this? You know what uh, Scott's going to be like because he was your governor. You know what Chris is going to be like because he was your governor. Why would you listen to a debate? Ah, but uh, the Chris guy has changed his party, so now he's different. Right. right. He's added on extra tanner. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, any other and, thoughts? And it's not, well, it's not so much that people are going to listen to the debates, but the debates will be covered by the media. The media is going to report on the Republican and the Democrat because they're the only people in the debate. And the reason they're the only people in the debate is because the Republicans and the Democrats make sure of that. You're right, and Kevin. Thanks for the call tonight. They create these debate commissions. You remember uh, back when Ross Perot was in the presidential race yeah. back in 1992? It was close there. We were going to have that third party guy get in, except for the ninjas well, or they whatever that was. Certainly, uh, I mean, he did scare people. I mean, it scared the, the main parties into, I, what was it? Who was it that ran the debates back then? It was like the League of Women Voters League or something like that. Women Voters, yeah. And then they took it out of their hands and they uh, they created the Commission for Presidential Debates. If I'm recalling this correctly, please correct me if I'm wrong on this. But they cre you know created their own debate organization. Yeah, we can't have this. The League of Women Voters is way too fair. Yeah, and then that's when you know it became impossible or next but to impossible to get a third party. Third in there. parties candidates weren't doing very well prior to that either. And this is where I keep coming back, ready to blame the American people. Did somehow they deserve, uh, you know, they weren't prepared for third parties back before 1992? Yeah, I was only talking about the debates. I mean, I agree with you. You're right. Americans have been uh, this, very this ignorant isn't, of third parties. It isn't the Republicans and Democrats, as the the caller previously mentioned, that this isn't just the, the this is the stuff that Americans are spoon fed. But you know, if you're sitting around, you're an adult, and if you're allowing people to spoon feed you information, whose fault is that? JJ is on the line, listening in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live, JJ. Hello. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm sorry if I break up a bit. I'm driving through the canyon right now. No problem. But I think a lot of it is is, is just the sheer ignorance of the American people going on. They complain about these two parties, but then they let the two parties control all the debates, like what they did to Ron Paul in 2008. He was leading polls over uh, a couple other candidates, but they refused to even acknowledge them. Mm -hmm. And they cut him off short and everything. And during that time, I was living in the Chicagoland area supporting uh, some libertarian candidates, not a vote for Ron Paul bumper sticker. Well, in Illinois, during that time, if you had a Ron Paul bumper sticker, you're a domestic terrorist. And that cops pull me over, searching me, throw me on the hood in front of my daughter's car. People would be calling you racist. You try to have a libertarian a rally, you'd have foul. But we had we had one libertarian rally, never got co- covered in the news. And we had a thousand people with Chinese and USSR flags protesting us saying we weren't American. And so I yelled back at them, I said, Well, we have fifteen American flags, where are yours? And then you saw the communist flag start dropping down. And the little report they did put in the newspaper, they called us a Nazi party. <laughs> and so when, when you're dealing with that type of ignorance going yeah. on, and when I was giving a talk, this woman said to me, she was Hispanic, says, what do you have, why do you have a problem with illegal immigrants? And I said, they're illegal. And I just left it like that. And people are like, oh, okay. But then I did six masters in the military. Some of my buddies I have do border patrol. And out of the people they catch, probably about, this is about in 2006 at one time, about every thousand illegal immigrants that caught out the border, about 50 of them were Al-Qaeda operatives that were coming in, guising as a, uh, Hispanics trying to smuggle across the border. Seems like a ridiculous yeah. claim, but uh, you know, JJ, I, I was liking the things you were saying up until the comment about uh, illegal people. What's wrong with being illegal? Well, it's, it, it's the thing is the way I look at it. Okay, you you have a standard, and you hear the politicians say we're a land of law. We're about the rule of law, right? Yeah, but the politicians don't follow the law. Well, yeah, exactly. That's the biggest problem. My personal opinion, 80% of our politicians belong in federal prison more than a kid who got caught with... But still, what's wrong with with, uh, what's wrong with being illegal? If you want an immigrant to America, I have no problem with immigrants. Some of my best buddies, one, his name's Nudavon. He's a lab technician. All right, hang on. I want to get your answer to the question here uh, in a moment. What is wrong with being illegal? I really want to know. It's Free Talk Live. Geico RV presents Reflections from the Road. I love the great outdoors and saving money. So I made the easy switch to Geico RV insurance, which was a whole lot easier than eating my wife's cooking for a week. Rob, I can hear you. Sometimes I think she can read my thoughts. Yeah, you were thinking about Geico RV insurance. Man, she's good. Well, you are saying everything out loud. (sighs) I meant to do an internal monologue. Geico, for your RV trailer or camper. See how much you could save. Majid lives in nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu-fighting products. Also Explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. 
If you're looking for work, or even if you're not, here's an innocent mistake you really want to avoid. Never return calls before listening to your voicemail. Your wireless phone sends calls you didn't answer into voicemail, and it shows you phone numbers for calls you missed. Important, don't call back callers you missed until you have first listened to your messages. Otherwise, you frustrate people who bothered to leave messages by asking them to repeat a message they just left as your voicemail greeting instructed them to. If you're a job applicant, this alone could be a deal killer. And even if you're not, there are few things you can convey to someone that are as fundamentally maddening as, I didn't hear you. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. For more tips for job seekers and everyone else, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We're doing a live Saturday edition of the program. There's time for you to dial in toll-free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We're talking about uh, third parties in the United States. 58%, according to one survey of Americans, say they want a strong third party. But how many of them are willing to actually even vote for those third parties? Well, apparently next to zero, because usually third parties do just barely above zero as far as the percentage uh, that they get in any given election. So why is that? And uh, and if you are against a third party, then why is that as well? But you know what? We've got JJ on the line here, and he brought up in the middle of a conversation about third parties, he made some comment about illegals being illegal, and that's a bad thing. And I was wondering why. What's what's so wrong with uh, with being so-called illegal, JJ? Can you make that clear for me? Well, well the thing is, if, if anyone thinks that everyone who comes over here illegally is under good intentions is ignorant. Because okay, that didn't answer my question, though. What's what's wrong no. with being illegal? Well, one, we have laws and stuff with our borders about it. Hold on so, a minute. Hold on no. a moment. Are you saying that you care about laws? Yes, I care about laws. Have you ever sped, JJ? I don't speed. My wife complains to me about mm-hmm. it all the time because people will pass. That's not the I question I asked you. Have, have you ever it? sped? I have sped before, and I don't like Did it. Did you ever drink underage? Nope. Yeah, right. I don't believe you for no, a moment. I honestly didn't. Uh, I honestly see, didn't. Ian, this is why I don't like this uh, line of questioning that you often do. JJ, here's my problem with this. is I think this is the laziest uh, reason for uh, immigration, to, to complain about immigration. Like, it's completely no, I lazy. I think we need immigration reform. No, no, yeah, I, I, look, I think we need to secure our borders a lot better. Because but you want lying, stinking politicians over. to decide who comes and who doesn't, right? You want the uh, most dishonest no, I don't want segment of our society to decide, to decide who comes problem. and who doesn't. Well, you know, well, here's the thing. You're, do you believe in being a sovereign nation? I believe I am a sovereign nation. I believe you are a sovereign I nation. I don't believe those people in Washington, D.C. have anything to do with our lives. Yeah. J.J., thanks for the well, call yeah, tonight, man. Yes, okay. except for the immigrants. No, not except for the immigrants. <laughs> I wasn't saying immigration. And this is the ignorance I've been talking about. And you already hung up on me. No, no you I haven't, haven't hung up on JJ. You're still going. Going. 
You you just hung up, though. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Look, the reason I go there is because people, all kinds of Americans, do illegal things. Now, if he's going to claim he's never uh, drank underage, most Americans absolutely have. Uh, certainly There's a book called Americans Three Today. Felonies a Day that claims yeah. that uh, the average American doesn't even know when they're committing a felony. Not right. just something illegal like a violation, uh, excuse me, a misdemeanor level violation like illegal immigration, but yeah. a felony. So don't pretend like being illegal is a bad thing because almost everybody in the United States is an illegal. If you use at, being an illegal, if you make the definition of that doing anything that's illegal, almost everyone would qualify as being an illegal in that case. So I don't think there's anything wrong with ignoring the government's rules and laws as long as you're not hurting anybody else. And the supermajority of people who immigrate here do not hurt others. They come here to make a better life for themselves. And that, to me, is not a crime, nor should it be punished. I agree with you completely. Ian, but I think his more ludicrous statement was 50 out of every thousand uh, people come crossing the border at some period in time was an Al Qaeda member. Now yeah, that's, that's pretty ridiculous, demonstrably silly because uh, obviously border and immigration control aren't catching uh, everybody. They're probably not catching half of them that are uh, coming across the border. But at this point, many of them are sneaking back across the border. By the way, and that would mean that all these Al Qaeda people are in the country, and it's pretty clear that they're not. Otherwise, they would have done something by yeah, now. Yeah, where's all the bombings? I mean, if there's so many Al Qaeda. Around, then where's all the terrorism? Let's go to Michael. He's in Virginia Beach listening to WNIS. What's on your mind tonight, Michael? Uh, I'm for the third party. Uh, you're making perfect sense about it. But let's urge this audience to make a sacrifice one time in their life. Waste your vote one time in your life. There is not a party out there worthy of your vote. So waste it this time in this election and let the world know that that's exactly what you mean. Write these three letters down. K, Q, A. The Republicans, we know they're no good. They promise to treat the working man like a king. What's K. the KQA? No. King? King. That's, okay. that's the king. That's the gotcha. Republicans. We don't want them anymore. Okay. Gotcha. Then there's... Then there's there's the Demo Democrats. They promise to treat the working woman like she's a queen. Okay. We're done with them. We're done with them. KQA. A, they've yet to appear. Who, what party is going to treat every American like an American? When's that going to happen? What does it, it mean to be happened. treated like an American? I I assume Seems. it means to be worked from cradle to grave to uh, to support the uh, <laughs> to send uh, you know foreign aid around the world. Well, like the first Americans, the first Americans had an ethic. Their ethic was every member of the church is as good as an apostle. The first what Americans didn't mean? have a church. The first Americans what thought your big white god was kind of silly. Put that a put that a on your ballot. K Q A. Let them know we're coming. We're Michael, that won't let anyone know anything, but I thank you for the call tonight. So he was essentially saying that I understand, and I, I like where he was coming from when he was pointing out that the Republicans and Democrats are no good. I'll, I'm with him to that point, but writing KQA on your ballot is going to accomplish absolutely nothing. It won't let anyone know anything. The old ladies or old men who are uh, you know, looking through the ballots in the write-in section and notating who, because they do, you know, they do write down what you write in. Uh, they do calculate numbers on that, but no one ever pays attention to them, so... You know, the, the old folks who are looking at your ballot and wondering what KQA actually stands for probably aren't going to Google it. And even if they did Google it, likely KQA would not uh, come up with anything that's uh, responsive. You would certainly have so. to have a lot of people do it. Um, th I think this is really an important when he was talking about wasting your vote. Because the chances are good that the margins are going to be separated in whatever election you're at by thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. So consider for a second that your single vote isn't going to matter, so you might as well vote for that third party that you want to have. 58% of Americans say they want to have a third party. Not, nowhere near 58% do anything about it. Well, there may not be a perfect third party. We call those party. people uh, – I, I, I don't know. What, what do you call a person who says they want something but isn't it willing to do – lazy? Well, that's just it. That comes back to the main question I think that we were talking about here tonight. And you were calling people stupid, Mark. I, I don't think that's true. I think you, if you expect do the same thing over and over again and you're not crazy, 
and you expect some different result, you're stupid. You're doing something oh, stupid. I don't know if they're necessarily expecting a different result. I think a lot of people are voting out of fear. And uh, you could argue that uh, Americans are ignorant in that many Americans don't know what the third parties stand for. But of those who have encountered a third party, say the libertarians, for instance, many of them may agree. Like if you can dispel their ignorance about the libertarians, they may say, yeah, I like that. I'm in favor of that. But then their fear will get in the way. And I know this because I did some campaigning uh, for the Libertarians many years ago, and that's when I encountered this what's called the wasted vote syndrome, where you'll encounter all kinds of people who will agree with you, and they'll say, yeah, that's really great. I really like these ideas of freedom libertarianism. That means you you know, you know, don't support the use of force or advocate force for, to achieve uh, political or social goals. Yeah, that sounds great. But boy, I don't want those Democrats or those Republicans to win, so... I better vote for a party that can actually win. And so there's fear in that statement. You're right, Mark, that the fear's based in ignorance, in that the person is ignorant of the fact that their vote really doesn't matter when all things are said and done. It, whether you vote one way or another or not vote at all, that's not going to really have any say in every federal election on who the winner is. So also, why not waste your vote, as our last caller was suggesting? But what's really important here is, is you've been voting for whatever this party is that you're petrified, um, This other uh, the other party getting in. Mm. You're voting for the, you know— your party, well, you've been doing that over and over again. Nothing is better. Every de- nearly every Democrat and nearly every Republican is dissatisfied with the performance of their party. Yes, but they're unwilling to do anything about it. You're either. never going to get what you want out of your party yeah. by doing what your party wants you to do. Which is vote for them. Right. Yeah. You're never going to get it. Never going to get it. They will continue to rely on you. You are their willing serf. And you if, empower them. If you try to change the party from the inside, like the Ron Paul supporters did, then they get shut down. Their microphones get turned off. They get shut out physically from the from the room. So, you know, these uh, existing parties are very established, and they will not take any threats to their establishment lightly. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Rich is in Montana. You're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. What you guys fail to understand, the only thing that, w- that is ever going to save this country, you can have three, four, five parties. You know, that's fine. But this country needs to crash and burn as it exists today. The government needs to go down. Now, the problem you'll have when that happens is who, do, who comes in to fill the vacuum. Mm. If you think a Ron Paul or a Ted Cruz or anybody is going to save you, forget about it. Let's talk about that a little bit more here. Hang on, Rich. Uh, The filling the vacuum, the country going down. More coming up here in moments. You can take control on Free Talk Live. Pop quiz, kid. You know it's at 3221 Highway 22? The new Dickinson Granger branch. You know it was there before that? Who cares? There's a Granger branch there now. Granger's got everything we need from inventory management to safety services and solutions. They even have this handy mobile app for easy browsing on the go. Let's head over there and stock up. There's nothing I love more than a new Granger branch, kid, including you. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash oil and gas or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shop. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, November 1st, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.17 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,173 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $324. Antiwar.com reports Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction John Sopko has issued his latest quarterly report to Congress and once again warned that despite repeated complaints, the U.S. Army is refusing legal requirements to stop doing business with known backers of the Taliban. Sopko has been warning about the Pentagon giving lucrative contracts to Taliban and Al-Qaeda backers since the summer of 2013, saying the contractor deals show a growing gap between the policy objectives and the actual policy. In the past, the Pentagon has argued that because the evidence of the contractor's Taliban involvement is classified, they can't legally use it as a basis for decision making because the contractors could not contest the secret information. Yet the Pentagon seems more than willing to carry out most of the rest of its Afghan policy based on classified assessments, including its wholesale detention of suspects across Afghanistan. The contractor issue seems to boil down to laziness among officials who don't want to have to go to the trouble of sorting through their contracts to avoid making deals with people backing the Taliban. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to take Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty, while simultaneously continuing to create daily liberty media. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot F-P-P-Radio dot com. Reuters reports, according to the Washington Post, U.S. Justice Department officials probably will not bring civil rights charges against a Ferguson, Missouri police officer who fatally shot an unarmed teenager, setting off a riot in August. The newspaper, citing law enforcement officials, said investigators had all but concluded that there was not a sufficiently strong case to prove that Officer Darren Wilson violated the rights of 18-year-old Michael Brown when he killed him in the St. Louis suburb on August 9th. At issue is whether Wilson had reason to believe believe he was in danger in his confrontation with Brown after he asked Brown to get out of the middle of the street. The Post cited a source who had been briefed on the investigation as saying, the evidence at this point does not support civil rights charges against Officer Wilson. Justice Department spokesman Brian Fallon was quoted by the Post as saying its report was based on idle speculation. An attorney for Brown's family declined to comment on something that is not official, and Wilson's lawyer did not respond to request for comment. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder said last week he expects the Justice Department investigation of the shooting to be completed by the time he leaves office. He announced in September that he would not step down until his replacement was chosen and confirmed by the Senate. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The AP reports a Maine judge gave nurse Casey Hickok the okay to go wherever she pleases, handing state officials a defeat Friday in the nation's biggest court case yet over how to balance personal liberty, public safety, and the fear of Ebola. Judge Charles C. Laverdier ruled that Hickox must continue daily monitoring of her health, but said there is no need to isolate her or restrict her movements because she has no symptoms and is therefore not contagious. The judge also decried misconceptions, misinformation, bad science and bad information circulating about the disease in the United States. After the ruling, a state police cruiser that had been posted outside her home left and she and her boyfriend stepped outside to thank the judge. Maine health officials had gone to court on Thursday in an attempt to bar her from crowded places and require her to stay at least three feet away from others until the 21-day incubation period for Ebola was up on November 10th. They say she would have still been free to go jogging or for a bike ride. But the 
judge rejected the state's arguments. Governor Paul LePage said that he disagreed with the ruling but will abide by it. Officials also say there are no plans to appeal. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. Researchers at the University of Washington report that they have successfully trained seven-year-old chimpanzee Makoko to do all of the tasks necessary to conduct a three-year study on primates. According to the scientists, Makoko has efficiently learned to turn in thorough analyses of behavior in chimpanzees, fill out all of the necessary paperwork to ensure compliance with the Animal Welfare Act, and even apply for supplemental grant funding from the National Institutes of Health. Sources within your office reported today that the guy on the third floor with two computers screens on his desk is not f***ing around. Co-workers said that the man currently working with at least three programs open on each screen was absolutely tearing it up, with sources adding that watching the man run a group video chat while dragging two separate Google documents to his second screen was like something out of f***ing Minority Report or something. Jesus, he's just dragging things from one screen to the other like it's nothing. He's going balls to the wall over there. Christ, man, I don't think he's blinked in three minutes. This is the Onion News Network. Health. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial on in toll free here and bring up whatever you want or talk about what the topic on the table happens to be at the moment, which is third parties. Tis the season for an election, uh, and of course, in most places, there are only two choices. Sometimes there's a a third choice because, well, whatever third-party activists there are in your area have put an exceedingly uh, large amount of uh, effort into just trying to get on the ballot and then probably ran out of money at that point because it's very expensive and arduous in most places to get a third party on the ballot and, of course, have no money to actually run their campaign at that point. Um, But even if they did have money to run the campaign, there would be things like the debates where they do everything they possibly can to keep third party candidates out because the Republicans and Democrats tend to run the debate committees and they set the rules so high. They set the bar so high that third party candidates can't get in. Americans say, according to one of the studies, uh, Mark, you were citing earlier, Pew Pew survey, uh, they say 58 percent of them say they want a strong third party for which they could vote. But they don't actually vote for any third No, they parties. don't. They say they want a, third, a strong third party, but they don't want a strong third party because if they wanted a third party, they would have voted for a third party. Now, Rich is on the line in Montana, and just to bring you up to speed, Rich, you were talking about how you are ready for the country to crash and burn. Uh, can you t- kind of recap your point there? So I, I don't want to try to put words in your mouth. Go ahead. The only thing, I mean, think about it. A uh, 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 a Paul or a Cruz, what are they going to do? That's one person. What are they going to do? What's any president I mean, going to do? The bureaucracy is so big. Oh, yeah. And it's it's like a juggernaut coming down. You know, it's like a giant boulder rolling down the mountain at you. Yep. The only thing that's going to save this country is to get rid of all of it. Well, I, like I think I that's said, a kind of a weird statement to make, although I agree that getting rid of the United States is a fine idea. I wouldn't get rid of it for the you know, to try to save it. I don't know how you would do that, but uh, I like well, the idea of getting rid of it. Idea? Why is that a weird idea? Well, how do you get rid of something in order to sa- to save it? That doesn't really make much sense. It seems contradictory to make that statement. But I do agree you, that... You, you look at the giant bureaucracy that this country has become to today, and, and you think it's all right? Or no, what? no, no. Maybe I'm miscommunicating to you. I think the United States should go away. I think it's a terrible idea, and it's time. I prefer to use the term Washington, D.C., because it isn't really the United States. It's a bunch of people in one city that rule rule the world. I prefer prefer the case of Washington, D.C. Yeah, okay, so let's let's go with that then. That's a better communication. So, yeah, I think that Washington, D.C. is terrible. I have no interest in having them ruling over me, but I also have no interest in saving Washington, D.C. either. Let them crash and burn. In fact, anything we can do to hasten the uh, demise of the bureaucracy in Washington, in D.C. I would be in favor of, which is why I'm a huge fan of the idea of secession. How do you feel about that, Rich? Oh, I, I'm, I'm all for secession. Cool, man. I'm glad we're hey, on the same let, page. Let's do it. I wish Montana would do it. What's the, Is but there any movement out there? Here, pardon me? Is there any kind of secession movement in Montana? Uh... Not really. Well, no. you need to start one. Rich, thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. 
I think there's uh, one of the it's one of the most important issues of our time is secession. In fact, we'll be talking about it tomorrow morning, bright and early at Keenvention. Go to Keenvention.info. Check out last year's secession panel. I, I don't think it's likely to happen here in the United States. Um, I think that it's fine to talk about it. It's it's because the fact is, I believe that Washington D.C. is going to spend itself into insolvency before secession could before happen. Before any any kind of break up the United the break up the United States will likely be facilitated by the irresponsible actions in Washington D.C. If it occurs at all. I mean, that's a fair prediction, although certainly the worse things get in D.C., the more talk of secession will likely hear. I suppose. And I think that if you can talk about it often enough, you can talk it into reality. Yeah, Let's, but I think you're—at this point, you have uh, states nullifying, and I think that's the most powerful thing they can do at this point. They can say, look, we're going to run our state the way we want to run our state, and we don't care about your silly drug laws or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, your ID laws or the things that you have. The states are doing what they want to do, and I think that's what they should do. Well, we should have not competition. happening that often, but it should happen, uh, you know, it should happen more often. Uh, William is in North Carolina. You're on Free Talk Live on the live Saturday show. Hey, how you doing? Good, William. You're on the uh, on the air. Go ahead. Hey, yes, um, it was a, a question you posed about uh, illegal immigrants. William, I don't know what you're doing with your phone there, but it's getting very difficult to hear you. Can you uh, talk right into it for me? Uh, can you hear me now? Much better. Go ahead. Okay. Um, you had a question earlier about illegal, uh, illegal or undocumented um uh, people or illegal immigrants. Okay. And what was what was the exact wording to the question so I can answer if I got it? Well, I don't know if you would make the same statement as our caller earlier, but what I was asking our caller earlier is what's wrong with being illegal? There's all kinds of people that break laws in the United States. Most of the many laws in the United States have no victim, and uh, as long as people aren't hurting other people, why should I care if someone breaks a law? Well, I mean, the reason why, I mean, we established, we the people, I mean, we established a certain order to things. And you didn't establish anything. Why, Some people well, 200 and something years ago established it. You've decided to go along with it. Well, I'm just I'm just saying the way things, the way the law is written right now, I mean, the only way to change it is to, I mean, the gov there's nothing wrong with the government. Yes, the only there thing is. Wrong with are the you kidding is me? The people subverting it. <laughs> it's the people subverting it. But are you talking about the politicians? I'm talking about everybody that has sworn an oath to protect and defend it and is not doing their job. Well, but do you understand that those people, I assume you're talking about politicians at that point, they well, are the, the government. Or... The government can't subvert the government because the government is the government. You think that the government right. is some apparatus that works or has worked at some point. I would contend to you that the government has been broken all along. Oh, yes, yeah, it has. There you go. Why, so why in the world would we support a nation of laws when the nation, when, when the people that pass the laws have never really been responsible for following them? That's right. There you go. That's right. because under Thank color you. of law is not enforced. William, thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate it. Let's go to Ed. He's in Wilmington, Delaware. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Go ahead, Ed. Mark, I actually have a similar uh, comment you mentioned about illegal immigration and I was listening to your callers earlier the two and I the synonym I use for uh, illegal immigration is illegal entry and I heard you say a couple times tonight that really it doesn't bother you because you don't feel that these people uh, have an impact on the communities or they're also coming here for a better life and when I usually hear people say things like that I usually like the, the personalizing. So let's assume for the moment that you went home tonight after your show and you walked in and there was an illegally four immigrants in your house, a husband and wife with two children, sitting at your dining room table enjoying your food and can't wait to turn on your cable TV and then sleep in your warm bed. But they illegally entered your home. Now, would you welcome them and keep them in your home as long as you had to until they got on their feet? Um, 
Okay, so obviously the answer is no, right? So I'm going to answer your question because most people are going to dodge you. Now, let me expound a little bit. Only a socialist nation is concerned about immigration. A free nation is delighted to have people that are going to work hard in order to get what they want. A socialist nation knows that they have to put out all kinds of programs and um, that when you uh, – they have all kinds of programs out there and that when you have more people coming in, these people are likely to be poor because they're fleeing bad circumstances and they're going to avail themselves of the program. It's not – if you put out a bowl of cat food every morning you're, y- and the cats come and eat the food, the problem isn't the cats. It's you. We have in this country a welfare problem. We have a wealth de- redistribution problem. We do not have an Im- immigration problem. Okay, the situation is – so you're, 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 willing to, you're willing to push it on to – uh, the government, which I, I hear I hear you constantly, because you're talking about illegal immigration. So I just heard on the news, and uh, on the news, a, a guy who was at least deported three times, maybe as many as six times, just killed two two policemen two policemen in the last couple of days. If you found out illegally. that. If you found out that uh, people, that illegal immigrants uh, that enter this country commit no more crimes than most demographic groups, would you withdraw your concern in that realm? Because that's what the American Conservative magazine said. They did a study on this. They said illegal immigrants are no more violent, they're no more criminal than people of regular demographics here in the United States. Maybe we should throw all the white people out. They commit crimes, too. Thanks for the call at 855 free. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used, and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live. When you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book. And it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live. People, they like to complain about the idea that the money is taxpayer dollars. It's not really true, is it? I mean, they were your dollars until you gave them to the government. (laughs) Now they're their dollars. (laughs) And they're going to do whatever the hell they damn well want to do with them. You're right. It is still your money in that... If a thief comes and steals money from you... It doesn't cease to be yours just because they stole it. You still have a claim on that, but you don't have the ability to control the thief unless you actually have him in your custody. Mm. So that thief is going to go out and buy a big screen TV or do whatever, you know, spend it on coke and whores or whatever it is that thieves do uh, with the money that they steal. And you That's what the politicians do with it. Yeah, you, you know, you can call the thief on the phone and say, I told you not to spend that money on whores! (laughs) And he's going to say, well, thanks for the input. <laughs> yeah, I, Noted. I appreciate that. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition, and you can dial toll-free to bring up anything that's on your mind. 855-450-FREE is the number brought to you by ProXPN. That's 855-450-3733. Gold and silver are available to you, and you can get as much or as little of it as you like from our friends over at Midas Resources. We have been doing business with Midas for a long time here on Free Talk Live, and they happen to be the company that's behind helping us get on Oh, over 160 radio stations. They own the Genesis Communications Network. So every time you buy gold and silver from gold.freetalklive.com, it helps Free Talk Live. Uh, so you get the silver and the gold that you're looking for. You help Free Talk Live out, and you get it from a great uh, dealer, Midas Resources. Their toll-free number is 877-857-9938. That's 877-857-9938. Or go to gold.freetalklive.com. As we continue here, we will go to your phone calls and thoughts. But, Mark, uh, you had mentioned this study from the American Conservative magazine. We read this once on the air. Can you summarize that again? Because I thought it was a really important point. Yeah, this is uh, from the American Conservative magazine. It's from March 2010. It's not a particularly new study, but it's uh, this is written by a guy named Ron Unz. I can't read it for you because this article is exhaustive. It's written by the guy who did it. But I think that this... It's well-researched. Yeah, well-researched. And he went over, you know, not just national numbers, but state-by-state -state numbers, regional numbers, citywide numbers, taking the cities where Hispanics are more populous, taking the ones where they're less populous, trying to figure out, really, in reality, are Hispanics somehow more uh, likely to commit a crime than whites? And the answer is no. Now, this includes um, numbers for illegal and illegal immigrants. I actually told the caller that it was just illegals, but this includes legal and Ill illegal Hispanics, people that are, you know, Hispanic. Mm -hmm. The fact is that if you take um, and you look by just by age demographics— so obviously it's not compare, fair to compare, uh, you know, Hispanic young males to old white women, right? Correct. That would be unfair. That would be but not it, apples to apples. But if you compare Hispanic males of uh, nationwide to southern white males, you will in fact find that Hispanic males are less likely to commit a crime and less likely to commit a violent crime. Hmm. Now, I don't think that means anything other than, um, because in the South, Hispanics are actually, you know, that likely to commit too. Um, so, I mean, when you, but I just think that this really gives you a picture. You can see that Hispanics, no more likely to commit crimes than whites. So this whole, them illegals are coming here committing crimes. They're eating dogs. There is no evidence. You need to provide me with the evidence. If you're going to come on national radio and make a claim, you need besides the, the crime of com crossing the border itself, mm. you need to provide a claim that they are committing these violent acts. Well, the people are claiming the acts are being committed. They're not claiming that they're more likely to commit crimes, are they? Oh, yeah, that's the claim. The claim is, is that illegals... And it's difficult to to uh, you know find out statistics for illegal immigrants, right? Mm -hmm. But that illegals are committing crimes on some greater, you know, vastly greater level than uh. the regular folks in in their demographic cells. And at this point, 
We have been able to find no evidence to back that up. Yeah, but they could still make the argument that they're committing some crimes, so therefore we don't need any more crime in the United States, so lock the borders down. Well, you're, you can certainly make the argument that they're committing a crime by coming across the border, but they would all, you should also consider for a second that they're probably less likely to commit a crime because they don't want to get deported back. Yes, there are certainly some outliers that you can say that have committed crime after crime after crime, keep coming across the border, there's no doubt about it. But really what that is, is that's a testimony to poor border, how badly the government controls the border. And then you just want them to do a better job. Whining about how the government does a poor job is what people have been doing about governments for 9,000 years. You can bring up anything. You can also reach us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, and that's where Zach is in Ithaca. Zach, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Can you hear me testing? Yes, and you're actually kind of loud, so I'm turning you down. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'll bring it further from my mouth. Uh, I want to say without getting derailed into a talk about immigration, I don't blame anyone trying to get to America. If you, The vast majority of the immigrants coming across the border are not from Mexico. They're from Ecuador, Nicaragua, blah, blah, blah. Mm. These people China. are living through hell, China, wherever, to get into the States. And, you know, uh, you can call them a lawbreaker. I'm a lawbreaker if I shoplift a candy bar because I'm starving. But the fact is you can't have people voting uh, when they're not legally eligible to vote. Otherwise, we could have SpongeBob SquarePants run for president and you know, the seven dwarves will elect him. We could do I worse. Um, I, don't, I know. I don't want to get bound, bound down to that. Yes. What I wanted to point out to you are two specific real-life cases of a third-party candidate. Before you do um, that, just want to just want to point out that if you take a candy bar, you are causing a you're causing damage. You're creating a victim. That's an actual crime with a victim. Coming to the United States, make a better life for yourself. No victim there. Anyway, go ahead with your points. Okay, the uh, John Nar with comedian uh, Reykjavik, if I got that right, uh, Iceland. Started a political party as a joke, ended up getting elected mayor, which is essentially being president of Iceland since everyone lives in Reykjavik. Reykjavik, yeah. Wow. And uh, so that's a third party candidate because what I was the question I was going to ask. What was you the guys party? Is, it was the the best party. You should close your show. <laughs> it, you know, it was set to simply the best, except for all singing in Icelandic. Uh, oh my God! Somebody then, needs to uh, try that here. So it's but see the thing is in that situation there was actually a third party candidate to vote for. Mm. So my question to you would be like why you know fifty eight percent of people want a third party why aren't they voting for it? I mean there really isn't like nationally who am I going to vote for? You know SpongeBob SquarePants has got more visibility than any Green Party anybody anybody. Uh, and the another case I wanted to point out I sent you the link. There's a Libertarian Pizza delivery man. Uh, in North Carolina, who's running, he's polling about 5%. Hmm. And he's a third-party candidate, but he he would be taking votes away from the uh, from the uh, Republican types out there. So the Koch allegedly. brothers, allegedly, the Koch brothers have uh, literally been putting up, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? 5013C ads yeah, supporting him. These pack absurd, ads. absurd, uh, obtuse, like, he's pro-pot, blah, blah. They're trying to... Um, what's it called? Uh, neutralize him as a factor in the race. There's five percent buying in an ads. Wait, wait, wait. They're buying ads that support the guy. No, they're buying ads yes, against the guy. They, no, they're buying. The Koch brothers are funding third-party ads promoting the guy oh, in no. the hopes that uh, he will be. You, go. I sent you the link on. Skype. I'm looking the at libertarian it here. pizza delivery man could decide the North Korean uh, North Carolinian. Oh, you had it right party. the first time. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is like in a. In a real sense, like your 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 question is, I feel a little loaded in that it's like, fifty eight percent of Americans want a third party. How come they're not voting that way? It's like, who do you want me to vote for? You, uh, John Nar gave the people of Iceland a a real third party candidate to vote for, and he won. He's like, I, I didn't. This was a big joke, man. Well, what makes well, the difference? Why but, is that guy a real candidate, but the guy in uh, North Carolina? Well, how about not? Gary Johnson? Because for God's sake, visibility. Well, but what about Gary Johnson? This was the uh, two-time uh, governor of New Mexico, certainly not the biggest state in the union, but somehow Sarah Palin got all kinds of credibility about being a Veep, um, uh, being a Veep uh, 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 candidate. May I speak? Yeah, go right ahead. I have I have one more. This is the third. You're not going to address it? I, Stand by. I, I am going to address it. <laughs> okay. Stand by. We'll get back to you here. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. I'm still not sure about this whole Coke supporting the libertarian North Carolina, but not supporting him thing. I'm going to look at the story here from Vice, see if I can learn a little bit more about it. We'll uh, take your calls about whatever's on your mind. 
And if you don't support third parties, why not? No one's told us the answer to that question. It's Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Freeze Dry Guy. And do the GCN listeners let you know they heard your ad? Customers do let us know they've heard Freeze Dry Guy ads on GCN. Uh, They seem to be very loyal listeners to GCN, and they stay with those shows, and subsequently they stay with our business, too. Looking for positive results? Contact Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. Are you drinking too much and it's destroying your life? If you're ready to quit drinking, we have a real solution for you that can help you quit drinking within hours. That's right. We can help you quit drinking within hours. It's not magic. It's medical science. At Sober Time, we'll show you how this simple 20-minute outpatient medical procedure will turn off your cravings within hours. Let's face it, if you don't crave a drink, you're not going to drink. And if you don't drink, you won't get drunk. The medication is FDA approved and covered by most major insurance plans. So if you're really ready to stop drinking and get your life back, call Sober Time now for a free consultation. Patients have nearly an 85% success rate. So here's the number. Call right now. 800-659-0267. 800-659-0267. 800-659-0267. 800-659-0267. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in, Creative Commons. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here, and bring up anything you want. The live Saturday edition continues on here, brought to you by ProXPN. It is a global virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data, meaning that your internet service provider is no longer going to know what you're doing online, which they probably know every site you've been to in the last five years, because they're likely logging that information, also logging the Google searches uh, that you are probably making, or other searches, So if you want to stop that from happening, just go and get their app. 
for Windows, Macintosh, iOS, or Android devices. You can go to proxpn.com slash FTL, download the app there, get it installed, get it connected, and you will be encrypted at that point. Now, when you're ready to upgrade from their free account to premium for unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world to access the ability to privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites, just use our discount codes. There's code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live and the number 50, as in 50% off of the annual account. Also, FTL50, that code will get you that discount for the lifetime of your account. You can also pay with Bitcoin to save even more. Save 62% with code FTLBTC when you check out over at proxpn.com slash FTL. It's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. You've got nothing to lose but your privacy, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Promo codes are FTL50 and FTLBTC. Get a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. Uh, we continue here more. Uh, by the way, our Skype username is LRN.FM. Zach is with us in Ithaca talking about third parties. And Zach, you Hello, hello. Whoa, yes, there you are. My goodness. Uh, hello, hello. Yes, I hear you now. So, Zach, you were going to make a second point. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I, I didn't want to cut off uh, our friend there. I, I do want to address his point. But the thing that occurred to me uh, in response to what he brought up was uh, another successful mainstream third-party candidate. His name was Jesse Ventura. Before he was in the WWF, he was a Navy SEAL, blah, blah, blah. And he told the story about how when he got elected through a third party to be governor of Minnesota, he was escorted to the basement of the Capitol – to meet with all 20 CIA analysts. And he said that these people, you look at them, you'd never suspect CIA. And they were like, we didn't see this coming. Can you please tell us how you got elected? How did this happen? He said, well, if you're going to ask me questions, you're going to answer some of mine. They're like, well, we can't do that. And he said he walked out of the meeting. But Jesse Ventura is an example. That is a real, that's a, that's a real thing. Governor of an American state, like, uh, go ahead. Wow, That's I hadn't heard that uh, that story about the the CIA. It's very interesting. Now, Jesse Ventura, of course, is also an unusual case because he's a known name. People know who Jesse Ventura is. He's been in popular culture for a long time, and they actually made the mistake of letting him into a debate uh, in Minnesota. And you know, he became a real force to be reckoned with after the people in Minnesota found out. Uh, Zach, they found out what this guy's views were, and they thought they were better than the Republicans and Democrats. So yeah, if you can get some attention as a third party candidate, then you do have a chance to win. And Jesse but, Ventura is a, is proof of that. But Zach, your premise is that you need somebody to vote for. If, if third parties want to win, we need somebody to vote for. And I agree with that, but you need to consider that it's not anywhere near a fair footing because the Republicans and Democrats at this point rarely, by your definition, have somebody to vote for, but people still vote for them. So I mean, it's it's he really means somebody with a, like a name, somebody I with some, some money or whatever, somebody who's worth voting for but from that perspective. When you get enough money, why do you care about getting the political process? At that point, you just have to be some kind of control freak. May I? Zach? Of course. Okay. The thing is, when you're voting for uh, jo John and Jane Doe, Republican and Democrat, you're not you're voting for them because they are endorsed by the Republican Party. The Hive has selected them. To you know, be out there uh, on the on the on the verge of where the rubber meets the road with the people. Okay, the real power doesn't lie at the where the rubber meets the road. And what I'm saying is, like John Nar ran because he was a comedian. He won because he was somebody. He was running on himself. He wasn't running on Republican. He wasn't running on Democrat. He wasn't running on anything except for John Nar. Same with uh, our friend Jesse Ventura and the pizza delivery man. I'm gonna I had to say his name. I don't want to just call him Libertarian Pizza Guy. Uh, what is it? Uh, Sean Hoff, right? Sean Ha. He, he deserves a shout out because all he's been doing is sitting there and just speaking his mind. And he's a factor. And we're, we're all a factor. But why is he a factor? He's just a pizza delivery on, man. Weren't you like, just... Like, say, if uh, Christopher Walken said, you know, uh, I can't do a very good Christopher Walken, but I'm one of a president, you know? And But, uh, but wait a minute. I'm, why is Sean Hoff a factor if he's just a pizza delivery man? He doesn't seem to meet the same qualifications that you have. he's 5% of the vote. But, you don't have to... You but can have, why? Like, Terry Schiavo could have got an elected president, okay? It doesn't matter what you are on the inside. It's what people perceive of you. 
I, I can't I, I can't believe I'm not like communicating this to you. It's all a big Okay, but I a, guess what I'm misunderstanding about what you were saying was it seemed to me that you were saying someone needs to be like a celebrity and well known in order to be a successful third party candidate, but now you're saying Sean Hoff, who's just a pizza delivery man, is a factor. So it seems like you're trying to have it both ways. Can somebody who's a no one uh, as far as public name is concerned be a factor? Are they worth voting for? A no one can be a factor. A somebody can get elected. If Stephen I Colbert see. said he wanted to be president, uh, people people would crawl out of the woodwork. People you never would have thought who even conceived of voting. Just yeah. because well, the problem, though, so is I get, I get what you're saying. The thing is, though, people who are worth something in other areas generally don't turn to politics. I mean, Jesse Ventura is, is the exception, not the rule, right? So, you know, if somebody's a successful Hollywood actor or somebody's a successful, you know, person in a band or I don't know which categories we're talking about here, successful author, these people all love to do what they do. That's why they do what they do rather than doing politics. So, you know, the idea that somebody's going to come out of the woodwork, Drew Carey or Kurt Russell or something like that, these sort of Clint famous... Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Well, he's not, not that much. Uh, you know, these famous libertarian types, the idea that they're going to change over and end their career so they can go into politics, it's pretty unlikely. And and the fact that it's unlikely is proven by the fact that they don't do it. Uh, you know, I thank you for the call tonight. I, I do appreciate the perspective, though. And it's certainly true. I mean, his analysis is, is accurate. I mean, obviously, if you've got names recognition from doing some other thing besides politics, then you're going to have a better chance in sure. politics. I mean, what, Al Franken got elected, right? And, you know, he's a hack. It was, it was barely, um, but he wasn't that famous. So if you Famous you know, enough. Right, sure. Saturday Night Live, right? One of the writers, I guess. I guess. Saturday Night Live. Toll free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. You can bring up anything that you want uh, so, yeah, I mean, at least, you know, we've got a chance here in New Hampshire. I think it's worth worth mentioning uh, that libertarians are getting elected here. We've been talking about the frustrations that third party politics, you know, it's so difficult to get on the ballot. It's difficult to win. It's difficult to get, even get votes. It's difficult to get on uh, debates. It's difficult to get a newspaper to pay attention to you as a third party candidate. But here in New Hampshire, libertarians are taking a different strategy. They are not running as libertarians. They're running as Republicans and Democrats, and it's getting to the point to where people running as Republicans and Democrats who are actually libertarians are winning. Not only are they winning in New Hampshire, but they are becoming the only opposition in some places. In a lot of places here in New Hampshire, including our very own Keene, New Hampshire, many of the opposing forces out there uh, in the primaries specifically – we're free state project participants and liberty-oriented people. In the general election that's coming up this week here in New Hampshire, there are dozens of races in which there's a liberty activist who's running as either a Republican or Democrat versus some other Republican or Democrat. And so if you, if you get to the point where you've got enough people in an area who actually are freedom-oriented, who understand that you know freedom means that you can live your life how you want so long as you don't harm anybody else. You get people of a liberty mindset in one place, and you can start to actually win this stuff. And you can get into debates, too. I, I was invited to a debate. I ran as a, as a governor, gubernatorial candidate, here in the Democrat primary in New Hampshire. I thought I was going to be the only opposition to the incumbent. Turns out another lady filed, so there were three people running. And I was invited to the debate. So, you know, and that's not because I have a name. The other lady was invited, too, uh, as well. And uh, the other two candidates declined their invitation. I showed up, and I got to talk on stage for seven minutes uninter uninterrupted. It was great. So here in New Hampshire, we actually have a chance to win, which is nice. You might want to check out the Free State Project if you are into the libertarian movement and you love freedom and you actually want to have a chance. This is the place to do it. Just, you shouldn't run as a libertarian here, at least not yet. Valid access is still too difficult. 855 450 free. Why don't you support a third party, though? It's Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. 
Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn. And you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. Hi, folks. Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem. Whether you're for or against Obamacare, it's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do, or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great, and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial in, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And it is the live Saturday show. We will take your calls about anything, though the general topic tonight has been third parties and why it is that Americans on one hand seem to, according to a Pew survey, uh, seem to support the idea of having a strong third party, but aren't willing to even lift a voting chad to, uh, to make that happen. And so you can speculate on that here uh, if you'd like. You can also comment on if you don't support third parties, because there's a lot of people who don't. Uh, If you don't support third parties, then why not? Why shouldn't there be more competition in the arena of ideas? The politics is full of terrible ideas. The Republicans and Democrats don't have anything 
new or fresh, unique, interesting, exciting. They don't have that. No. So why not? Why wouldn't you support that? Is it because you're such a party adherent that you're f- afraid of anything fresh coming in to challenge your existing uh, status, this duopoly status? I think that's really what it is. I can tell you, I've gone out and I have done uh, petitioning for third parties a number of times. Uh, Most recently, I did some petitioning uh, earlier this year in New Hampshire before giving up on it completely because I just didn't want to invest the time required to actually get the petitioning done. It just wasn't worth it in in the long run. But when I was out there, it was a fairly, uh, you know, it was a fairly frustrating process because I first would have to find people who are already registered to vote in order to get them to sign the petition. But if I did find someone who is registered to vote, and this is why I suggested earlier, Mark, that uh, maybe people who are likely voters are even less likely to support third parties. Because these are the people who, many of them, are already Republicans and Democrats. They already sort of have their hat in the ring uh, as far as you know choosing a side. And I was bewildered by how many people were rude about the idea of getting a third party on the ballot. They just did not want that. They were not interested in that. Well, they didn't care which third party it was. They didn't want a third party on the ballot. Well, okay, so there's 58% of Americans want a third party. That means that some percentage lower than uh, 42 don't want a third party, right? So there's that percentage of people who are like, Die, third, what is a third party? What are we talking about? Who is the president? I have no idea. Like that, those people, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So you'll say that you know, 40% or 35% of Americans don't want a third party. And they've got their reasons, whatever their reasons might be. Surely you've run across these people, and they're going to stick out in your mind because you're like, wow, this that person was really rude to me. The nice people tend not to stick out in our minds. Secondarily— No, no, it was most of the people I talked to didn't want to—and they had no interest— Secondarily, you are a divisive figure in town. So not only have you cut out— No, it's not just me. It happens to other people. I understand that. Well, look, I, all I'm telling you is a Pew Research poll says that Americans want a third party. What they doesn't say yeah. is that they want the libertarians— well, no. What I'm telling you is, first of all, they wouldn't even look. They wouldn't even. They weren't even interested to know which yeah. the party well, was that I was polling for, that I was uh, getting petitions I'm for. I'm sorry to tell you that that's the way it is with petitions. People generally don't have time or energy to sign your petition. No, no. It wasn't about them not having time. These are people who specifically made statements about not wanting to have. So a you're third claiming the party. polls wrong. No, what I'm saying is the poll did not interview likely voters. They interviewed Americans. Now, Americans are a different lot from likely voters. Likely well, voters are people who are already likely on a side of a political party. Then here's a little advice. If you aren't going to go vote on Tuesday, it's because and it's because you would like to have better choices than crap sandwich A versus crap sandwich B. If you aren't going to go vote for that reason, here's an idea. Why don't you go and vote For the third party. They're Mm. likely on the ballot. You probably don't know who they are, but you might as well go vote for them. Write somebody in, for God's sake. You know, yeah, does it make a difference? Does it going to make a difference? Probably not the first time. But if people get, as the numbers tend to grow, you're going to find better people running in third parties, and then you're going to find more people voting for them and better people running. It's all you can do. All right, we got uh, Will Coley on the line with us here from Muslims for Liberty uh, via Skype. Will, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, what's up, guys? How are we doing tonight? What's on your mind? Well, um, well, what was originally on my mind when I called and what's on there at this very second are are different. Um, The last guy that called, uh, talking about Sean Haw in uh, North Carolina, um, I I would have to say I'm kind of going to refute that position because – Pretty much the whole Muslim community in North Carolina is voting for Sean Haw. Um, hmm. They were he was actually endorsed by the Muslim Public Affairs Committee because um, of the three Senate candidates that were sent invitations to three different events. Sean Haw was the only one who thought that it would be a good idea to respond to them at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, he sent uh, campaign workers to two of those events and uh, personally attended uh, the third event. So, and these were events the, thrown by uh, the Muslim community. Yes, the, okay. they were uh, candidate events, so that the candidates who were running for different offices locally there, and that where the mosque was, and then the state office, you know, mm. state uh, uh, races as well. 
And the other candidate, the Republican and the Democrat, didn't even send an email back, let alone <laughs> send someone from their campaign. So I don't know. You know, Muslims in North Carolina weren't voting Republican. So that's quite a few Democrat votes that have been taken from, uh, you know, from the the Democrat candidate to the Libertarian right. candidate. Um, but the what my original reason for calling in was the the immigration discussion, um, and your previous caller who you know beat his drum about his rule of law. And first of all, the the founders didn't have a concept of illegal immigration when the country was founded. Um, immigration isn't a word that appears in the original U.S. Constitution. Naturalization yeah. does. Exactly. Um, but I personally, with my family, just went through the gauntlet of legal. Uh, immigration. Oh no! And uh, we're out close to ten grand, between eight and ten thousand dollars so far. Wow. It's a free and country so far. So far. And, um, and how far along through this process are you? Oh, thank God, we just finally got her ten-year green card. I don't have to pay another extortion fee for ten years. And consider wow. that this is a person um, that is married to a U.S. citizen versus yeah. uh, somebody who wants to come here and build a better life for themselves and doesn't have somebody that they, you know, can have marry or an already here. married couple that wants yeah. to come here right yeah well like what happened with us was my wife was here she was a student we met in college fell in love uh decided we wanted to get married um and found out that legally we, we couldn't do the legal marriage because that would make that would put us in the position it would force us to have her change her immigration status from a student to a perspective uh spouse but that she would have a hiatus period of up to a year where she would have hmm. no legal status at all and she wouldn't be able to go to school so until she got out of school we had to we, we wouldn't be able to get legally married um then when we were able to get legally married um the first set of paperwork was like was fifteen hundred dollars uh filing fee um that plus uh money to a paralegal to uh put the papers together another seven hundred dollars um, and then that doesn't count a trip to Atlanta and a trip to Memphis plus hotel food, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, $300 for a, uh, set of fingerprints and a doctor's appointment. You can't do it at your regular doctor. There's a doctor's <laughs> offices that have contracts and it's $300 a pop every wow. time you file paperwork. Um, and like I said, at this point, um, we just got the last restriction move removed because you go from like no status to conditional to non-conditional. Um, and now she's non-conditional and we, I don't have to pay another extortion fee for another 10 years. Uh, but that's up to this point, close to $10,000 that, that we've been out. And, and how many hours of time? I mean, when you factor oh in all God, the traveling and so, so much and, research. and the way that they do it is very, very like it's the government. So we're here at home and I go down and get a, a letter out of the mailbox. My wife is breastfeeding our new baby. And the letter basically says, your money or your wife. Mm. Doesn't tell me how much money. Doesn't tell me uh, when it has to be sent in by. It, doesn't, it basically doesn't give me any information other than we want more of your money. Send it or we're going to kidnap your wife and send her back to where she came from. Mm. Um, and that's how, they, that's how they do business. And if they make a mistake, literally, if they make the mistake – because we've had this happen on two separate occasions. If they make the mistake and they admit they make the mistake, you still have to pay everything again and start over from the beginning or you're, they'll deport your, my wife. Well, that's what it's like. System. That's this, what it's this like. This is the rule of law mm. that these people are defending. And right. the funny thing and is— And that's the problem about the rule of law like, is that they're defending something that they have no clue of. They have of. no clue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They don't know what the law is. Um, uh, you know, and and the, if they had to go through it, they'd be pretty frustrated. Their ancestors it. came through Ellis Island, had their name messed up, and three days later they're on their way. Thanks for the story, yeah. Will. I do appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Take control of the airwaves on this live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. And if you oppose third parties, we'd love to hear your reasons why. It's Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. 
Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, October 31st, 2014. Happy Halloween. Gold is trading around $1,201, silver at $16.59, and Bitcoin trading around $344. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, a federal judge has ruled that a couple may pursue their lawsuit against a California police officer who killed their dog during a police visit to their home. Erica Gregory and Lauren Molner say that an officer was sent to their home to speak about an ongoing fraud investigation. Officer Chase Calhoun stated that when he entered the couple's yard and walked toward the front door, he saw their two dogs coming towards him and believed he was going to be attacked. The officer fired two rounds and killed one of the dogs. A prisoner whose confession helped free a death row inmate in a case that was instrumental to ending capital punishment in Illinois was released Thursday after he recanted. And a prosecutor said there was powerful evidence that the other man was responsible. All story Simon's confession gained international attention in 1999, largely due to an investigation by a journalism professor and a team of students from Northwestern University that helped secure Anthony Porter's release just days before he was to be executed. He had spent 16 years on death row for slangs that he and his supporters maintained he did not commit. The Madison Water Utility Board affirmed its support for keeping fluoride in the city's water supply Tuesday night, approving a slightly tweaked policy after a review process. The board endorsed the policy in a 4-1 to vote, according to spokeswoman Amy Barillo. After a lengthy public comment period that included supporters and opponents of fluoridation, they moved ahead with that endorsement. Madison has had fluoride in its water since 1948. A June report by Public Health Madison and Dane County said fluoridation helps promote oral health by preventing tooth decay, especially among poor residents. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Margie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. Support also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 31st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Wednesday, prosecutors charged a Baltimore police officer with assault and perjury 
after the officer was caught on camera beating someone and lying about it. Officer Vincent E. Kosum Jr. was seen on a surveillance camera attacking Colin Truss at a bus stop. Kosum originally lied and said Truss assaulted him and he defended himself. The video proved the officer was lying and all charges against Truss were dropped. Kosum was charged with perjury for providing a false statement as well as second-degree assault. The verdict comes as the Department of Justice has announced they are launching an investigation into brutality from the BPD. Ride-sharing service Lyft has stated that the company will leave Houston if a recently passed ordinance. Ride-sharing service Lyft has stated that the company will leave Houston, Texas if a recently passed ordinance does not change. The company is opposed to the ordinance's requirements for fingerprinting drivers, government drug tests, medical exams, and other inconvenient in-person processes. A statement from Lyft called the City of Houston's licensing scheme onerous and incompatible with our peer-to-peer -peer model. The ordinance was passed in an attempt to legalize ride-sharing services such as Uber and Lyft. Instead, the ride-sharing companies feel as if they're being forced to operate under a licensing system similar to taxis. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 31st, 2014. We hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. My fellow sheep, election season is upon us. Are you one of the 12% of Americans who still approves of our government? Then we need your help to force the other 88% into compliance. Our democracy depends on it. We're an organization called Citizens Against Too Much Unfettered Freedom, or CATMUF. CATMUF is a bipartisan flock of sheep whose goal is expanding government until nothing else remains. Because the government is here to help you. How can you help CATMUF help you? By only voting for candidates dedicated to expanding government. It's easy. You don't need to study the issues. No matter what a politician says when running for office, they're all dedicated to expanding government. And make sure you tell all your friends and family to vote for more government. Here at CATMUF, we don't care if you vote Democrat or Republican, as long as you vote for candidates committed to growing our federal family. CATMUF, because folks just aren't smart enough to handle real freedom. Free Talk Live, you take control toll-free here and bring up anything you'd like. 855-450-FREE is the number. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And you can get on Skype and get on the air with us that way. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. For those of you just tuning in, Mark, uh, do you want to summarize where you know where we've been tonight as far as what's the main topic on the table? Well, we, we were talking about this Pew Research poll about uh, Americans wanting a third party and that 58% of Americans want a third party. And I'd kind of asked the question, and I think that this is you know still a relevant question, is look, you know, when you consider that people get the government that they deserve, and I don't really know who people are, but whatever. Let's say America has the government it deserves, and Americans want a third party, but they don't vote for third parties. Is this what they mean? Is, is this what we, we get? Is that... You know, we individually may want a third party, but when we don't vote for them, then what's the expectation that we're ever going to get a third party? And also, you asked a question earlier, the very beginning of the show, not a single person has answered it tonight. And that is, if you are against a third party, then why? What is your reason for that? 855-450-FREE. I suspect it's because you're afraid of competition. I suspect it's because you don't like the idea of people bringing fresh concepts to the table because that's a threat. It's a threat to the status quo. It's a threat to your existing party and their existing uh, position in that status quo. 
That's what I suspect. Well, I don't know if they would admit to that, though. Yeah, well, a lot of times what they'll say is is that, you know, whoever it is, the Greens are drawing away votes from the Democrats, and the Libertarians are drawing away votes from the Republicans. And the the suggestion is is that somehow the Democrats and the Republicans own those votes, that they deserve them, and that if you don't want that other bad person to get in, then you should just go ahead and, you know, suck it up and vote for the lesser of two crap sandwiches. Well, you know what's refreshing uh, is there was a guy who called uh, in the last hour who brought up Sean Ha, ha I believe is his name, Ha, okay. H-A-U-G-H. What your, what's your guess at that, H-A-U-G-H? Ha? Sean ho. Ha? I think it was Ha. Anyway, okay. Sean, uh, Sean Ha in, uh, in uh, North Carolina is running for U.S. Senate, and apparently the Koch brothers, who everybody accuses of being libertarian— uh, the Koch brothers are apparently buying advertising to promote him in an attempt to sway Democratic voters to vote for the Libertarian. Now, normally when a Libertarian runs, they are mis, uh, accused, they're accused wrongfully, I think, of being just like the Republicans and siphoning votes away from the Republicans, which, of course, is not true. Liberty-minded candidates can attract votes from anywhere. They can attract votes from those who don't vote. They can attract votes from Democrats and Republicans because libertarians agree with Democrats and Republicans on different things. And so it's interesting to finally see people using the wasted vote complaint from the Democratic side. Uh, and that's you know essentially what the Koch brothers are trying to institute here by buying advertising. Apparently some of the advertisements, according to the Vice article, uh, it says here, the American Future Fund, a conservative group connected to the Koch brothers, is trying to sell Mr. Ha as uh, to liberal voters. In a bizarre little ad campaign that the, uh, the group dropped last week, smiley young actors wave slogans like, more weed, less war, and get ha, get high, and encourage <laughs> other young people to vote for the candidate who, quote, supports our values, unquote. The intent, it seems, is to turn ha to conservatives' advantage by getting all those hippie youths who are going to support the Democrat to vote for ha instead. That's hilarious. Which I think is fantastic, and I love it, I love it when uh, the opposition groups will pay for advertising for libertarians, because normally libertarians don't get any uh, you know, headway whatsoever. They make no progress in most elections. They don't get hardly any votes. No one pays attention to them. And they certainly don't have their own money to uh, to engage in advertising campaigns. So I always just – it warms my heart when the, the opponents – seem to think that uh, libertarians are worth actually spending money to attack. We're seeing it happen all the time here in uh, in New Hampshire with the Free State Project participants. There's a piece over that uh, Andre Rosa posted. He's a Free State Project participant who's running for state rep, I believe, in uh, Manchester. There's a full-page hit piece, looks like a trifold, actually, that's come out uh, that calls him an ultra-extremist. And goes over, dun, 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 dun. yeah, goes over all kinds of details about how he doesn't he's, believe in using force or fraud in order to as, achieve his means. This yeah. man is out of his mind. They promote a website called FreeStateProjectWatch.org, which I'll have to check out. I haven't been to that one yet. Let's go to your phones and call, uh, phone calls and thoughts. Let's go to Chuck. He's listening in Des Moines. Chuck, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Yeah, I was just wanting to chime in about the uh, third party issue. Yes, sir. Uh, I say we do away with all parties and just vote for the best best people for the job. Want to create competition? Get rid of all party affiliations. Well, there are some races like that, right? Like uh, I know that the local offices here in uh, in the Keene, New Hampshire area, they are what's called nonpartisan. So you cannot have a party label next to uh, the name on the on the on the ticket. But the incumbents still win over and over in those uh, um, nonpartisan races too. Well, the way I look at it, though, is in, in those situations, you don't have people voting for a party straight across the board. You have people voting for the person that whose beliefs most most often fit their beliefs instead of, you know, okay, I'm Democrat, so I'm going to I'm going to. It's vote certainly Democrat. true, Chuck, that it's, there's a better chance that in a nonpartisan yeah. race, someone is going to take the time to to actually have to look into the candidates. But it may just it may also be the case that the the parties will just issue voting recommendations and then people will vote yeah. that way. But I like his I like the recommendation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, this is a good idea. Um, I, I think that it is a deck it's a deck chair I'd like to see moved on the Titanic. Which one would be easier though? Like okay, so I I also am with you on this, Chuck. I would 
wouldn't oppose what you're proposing here at all. Um, but which is easier to facilitate? Because either way, whichever proposal I'm going to give you here, you've got to go through the Republicans and Democrats to get it approved. So is it more likely the Republicans and Democrats would approve what you're proposing, and that is eliminating party labels from the ballot entirely, or would it be more likely that they would try to make the system more fair for third parties? I'm really not sure. What do you think? Uh, if you had to leave it to, to the Republicans and the Democrats, it, it'd probably sway towards the third party because they want to keep themselves uh, prominent. So mm, You may be right about that. And I can tell that. you, whenever the proposals are made to make things fair for third parties, they shoot that that stuff down. Yeah, that's the one thing that the Republicans and Democrats can agree it's on. It's true. Chuck, thanks for the call tonight, man. It's, it's those nonpartisan races that I have uh, the most shame about that I voted in the past. Um, like These would be the ones where I'm like, I don't know who any of these people are. I guess I kind of like, well, I like the last name Anderson or <laughs> Vickers or, you know, like you'll just pick names. Um, for instance, here in New Hampshire, I've been told, and I don't know if this is true, that you can get about a 5% bump just by having a French last name because they're, you know, the, the French have been sort of a, uh, uh, a distributed underclass here in New Hampshire. So they'll stick together a little more. So, oh, well, I know he's French. I'll vote for him. And or has the French last name. So if just having a French last name will get you 5% of the vote, and that's kind of a silly reason to vote for somebody just because of their last name. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's one of the problems with that. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Larry is also in Iowa. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Larry. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's on your mind tonight? I, uh, I've been part of this problem, or not part of the problem, but trying to be part of the solution for probably 20-some years. First thing that people can do, and there's something you can do today, is go out and register as an independent, unregister as a party member. The fastest thing that will make these parties stand up and take notice is when the independent count of your state is 60 percent and the Democrat and Republican counts are 20 percent. I think that may be the case in New Hampshire, or we're darn close. I'm pretty sure that the, what's in New Hampshire we have uh, three statuses, Republican, Democrat, and undeclared. So that's the, essentially the independent uh, group. And it's my understanding the independents are the majority uh, in New Hampshire. Uh -huh. So that hasn't gone anywhere. In Iowa also. Of course, the Republicans and Democrats are still in charge, and they haven't done yeah. a damn thing about it. And one thing that people say about independents is they're not really independent. They just vote for whatever party they vote for. We just can't count them. That is uh, pretty far from the actual truth. Most independents, and I've, and I've been in all my life, and I've worked with national independent groups across the country. 90% of your independents are independents because they don't want the party. They don't like what they see, and they're tired of the situation. I think you're have. right about that, Larry, and I thank you for the call. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. 
For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the US dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Terror and confusion fell upon the nation this week after nearly 314 million Americans reported inexplicably losing consciousness for eight hours straight last night, with countless victims helplessly recovering from the fugue-like state with no memory whatsoever of the lost time. Researchers at Princeton University who have been studying the alarming phenomenon since its inception told reporters that though they were unable to ascertain the source of the sweeping condition, it appeared to be somehow linked to the setting of the sun. Right now, we suspect that there may be some connection between these sudden blackouts and the visions that some Americans have reported experiencing while they were unconscious. But most of these hallucinations are too abstract for us to draw any definite conclusions from. At this time, we urge people to never turn off their lights and under no circumstances close their eyes for any extended period of, oh God, oh, it's happening again. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Hey, it's Free Talk Live, and it's the live Saturday edition of the program. Plenty of time still for you to get on the air here to bring up whatever's on your mind at 855-450 free. Still talking, though, generally about third parties and the frustration that, uh, on one hand, Americans seem to support the idea of having a so-called strong third party, but on the other hand, aren't willing to do anything, even so much as vote uh, for one of those third parties in order to get it to the point of being a strong third party. Now, the Libertarians did finally get a million votes again. It took them 30 years. They uh, The last time they had a million votes was back in 1980, so it actually took them 32 years uh, to get those uh, that million votes. So their Gary Johnson candidate did actually clock in at, uh, at over a million, but still, that was like, what, half of a per percent or something like that? Uh, ultimately a drop in the bucket when compared to the other parties. So your thoughts are certainly welcome. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Is it an ISIS crisis or just more hype? Well, antiwar.com has the answers. Antiwar.com has the facts. Antiwar.com has the readership. What antiwar.com doesn't have is a pot of gold. The war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press and the mainstream media. All antiwar.com has is you. The AnyWar.com staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do it for free. They can't do it without you. They need your donation. Please go to AntiWar.com and donate or call them today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin for you Bitcoin promoters out there. It's AntiWar.com slash donate because war is the health of the state. All right, so again, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. You can also join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. We've got Michael in Madison, Wisconsin, listening to the Mike 92.1. Hello, Michael. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, about your comment about this 
crab sandwich, same side of the crab sandwich or whatever. Yes. Yeah. You know, and both sides are not the same. I didn't and claim I, they were I the same. I, I think they both well, stink well, differently. I don't, I, well, maybe you think they stink. But if you want to do a little research, perhaps uh. you'll do a research, Google Republicans block, and look what's been blocked for the last 5.5 years. And that stuff that's been blocked, I want you to look and see who put that forward. It was independents like Bernie Sanders and proud Democrats that are trying to fight for your family. But They're you don't think Bernie Sanders is really independent, do you? Yes, I do. Okay. That's how he runs. Yeah, well, that's how he runs. <laughs> you know, he, 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 Politicians the right, would never the right lie call, to you. The right call him a county. And, and, of course, you know, I, I look at the bills he puts forward. Now, you guys say you should look at the candidate. Well, yeah. that's what I've done. I was independent until the Bush Gore, okay? Now, I, I like to be uh, – I, I, I registered as a Democrat so that I could pick in the primary the yeah. best person that represents my views. So it's not a terrible thing. No, now, I, I would agree with you that it's worth – I, I, I'm a Republican the for the same reason. Guys are running into, the problem you guys are running into about you know making these both the same, they're not the same. The Democratic no, I didn't make that. You are making things up. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll say okay. that they're the same. I'll go ahead and go out it's on that limb. I'll, uh, l- l- hold on, Michael. Uh, I think it's like choosing between fascists and socialists. That's Wait, what I think it's like. I mean, like. Th- to me, Michael, they are the same because they both want to control my life. I mean, it, just because they might disagree on the means or the mechanism to, you know, which things they want to control. Confused. Huh? I think you're confused. I think the Democrats want to give you more freedom than the Republicans want to give Wait, you. Wait, what? The Republicans are based on biblical values. They think that the churches should run the government. Now, Democrats I'm pretty are, sure. Hold on, Michael. Before you continue rambling here, the I'm pretty sure the yeah. Democrats, uh, and but I'm no fan of either. Just to be clear, I'm pretty sure that there are Democrats who, for instance, want to control violence in video games. The Democrats are still engaging in the war on drugs. The Democrats are engaging yeah, in I, wars all around I, the the I, world. I, I mean, think if, if we had Democratic uh, House of Representatives, we would we would have. Uh, uh, close the war on drugs. But we Barack Obama, uh, Barack Obama hasn't done uh, anything. He could close the war on drugs uh, right now. You don't well, need the House well, of Representatives for that. You understand that, right? You understand that the executive branch is controlled by the president. So if the president wanted to tell the DEA to stop enforcing the war on drugs, or at the very least to stop enforcing the war on marijuana, then he could totally do that. But he hasn't. And he also has to lead by by what the people yell. Now, if you get the by people what? To vote for candidates, he'll lead by by what he hears from the people. He's a well, politician. You've, changed, you've you changed what you've just said, then, because you had told me if the Democrats were in control, they would end the war on drugs, and there's no evidence whatsoever for that because the Democrats have had the presidency for two terms recently, and then prior to that, Bill Clinton, who supposedly yeah, didn't well, inhale, he didn't do a damn thing to end the war on drugs. The, you can't be just by the Democrat by the uh, president. Right. We do yes, it can. He's in house. charge of the executive branch. And you know what else the, uh, the president's in charge of? It's the U.S. military. So if he wanted to, he could pull the troops out from all of the countries around the world that they're currently warmongering in. But Democrats are as much a warmongers as Republicans are. Now, I won't argue on that. Point. All right, then we agree. So Thanks for the call, Michael. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. Look, okay, there's minor differences between the two parties, and some of those minor differences might make someone prefer one party over the other, but ultimately, if you care about freedom, then there is no difference between those two parties because no matter which one of them is in charge of whichever House or you know Senate or presidency, whatever it is they're in charge of, and sometimes there have been times when they've been in com- total control, they haven't instituted freedom. They haven't rolled back the size of the government. They haven't released the the innocent prisoners from around the country. That's something else the president can do. If the president thinks that uh, the war on drugs is such a bad thing, he could just start signing pardons left and right for all those nonviolent, peaceful drug offenders who are sitting in prison cells all around this country. Or just the marijuana ones, if that's what he wanted to do. Uh, Mark Emery from North from Vancouver, who was extradited from Canada under the Barack Obama administration. He was there the whole time during Obama's administration. He was in for five years, right? So he was in the whole time. They call him the Prince of Pot. He sold seeds on the Internet. He was the guy who ran Cannabis Culture magazine. He was convicted. He was extradited 
and convicted and sentenced and held in prison for five years, all during Barack Obama's presidency. I mean, if Barack Obama wanted to at least send a message about ending the war on drugs, he could have set uh, Mark Emery free. Yep. These Democrats don't care about your freedom, and neither do the Republicans. What they care about is government uh, worker unions, and those unions want to perpetuate the police state, among other things. You know, they want to retain control of the schools. They don't want to have a variety of education for kids. They want the same homogenous education. Uh, when you when it comes to the DEA, this is just part of the big police apparatus, mm -hmm. and those those groups tend to support the Democrats. I'm sorry. Can, Color me completely nonplussed about how Democrats are going to increase my freedom. Take a look at the Democratic states. Are those places more free? Not according to the uh, the charts that rate free states. Dan is in Wisconsin, also listening to the mic 92.1. Hey, Dan, you're on the air. Yeah, Bernie Sanders wouldn't even agree with him because he says he's, he lives in a small state. He says you're not even going nowhere. The media is, the mainstream media is completely controlled. They've done studies with it that most, uh, uh, at least Americans, will uh, follow authority, so they trust yeah. the media. Uh, Barack Obama, he's basically just a tool. That's why he, he actually can't uh, let uh, uh, that guy out of prison or whatever, because the media will come after him right away. The media is controlled by super powerful people. That's all been bought out already. You're not going to get well, he's not. There. he's not so letting he uh, Mark Emery, he's not not letting him out of prison because of the media. He's not letting him out of prison because the police state. He supports the police state. Well, well, I know, but he, he uh, even if he say he wanted to, he wouldn't be able to because the media would, uh, the, uh, the media would say he's an evil doer. He, uh, George Bush can't do nothing, and neither can, uh, either neither can uh, uh, Barack Obama. They're all tools. Remember when George Bush tried to hire Dan? Thanks, hire man. Hillary I appreciate Africa? the call. We're coming up. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillard.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. 
My name is Angel Rach. I'm a mother of two teenage children, and I fought all the way to the Supreme Court for the right to use the medicine that saved my life. I've been permanently disabled for 10 years with an inoperable brain tumor, wasting syndrome, and several other serious conditions. For four years, I was in a wheelchair in so much pain, I couldn't even hug my kids. The hardest part was looking in their eyes and seeing how much they were suffering because of my medical condition. The medicine that gave me my life back and gave my kids their mom back was cannabis, also known as medical marijuana. With medical marijuana, I can walk, maintain my weight, and I can be a mom. Without it, my doctors believe that I would die. To learn more about medical marijuana, contact Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or on the web at mpp.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. You take control here, 855-450-3733. And join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features waiting for you there. They're all free. If you're thinking about starting a business, it's a good idea to incorporate. And incorporation, that can cost you a lot, unless you go through LegalZoom.com. Now, LegalZoom is a website that has all kinds of legal forms that uh, you might need, whether it's a patent, will, trademark, LLC, whatever it is you might need, they've got it there. They ask you questions. They fill out the form for you. They make it easy for you. They're not attorneys, but it was started by an attorney. It's LegalZoom.com. And if you use coupon code F. FTL, that's FTL as in Free Talk Live, or Faster Than Light, whatever you want. Use coupon code FTL, and you'll get 10 bucks off your order at LegalZoom.com. They've got all kinds of forms over there, and if you don't have a will, you really need one. <laughs> it's LegalZoom.com. All right, we continue with your calls and thoughts, talking about third parties and the difficulties they face in getting any kind of recognition whatsoever. And, of course, the Republicans and Democrats aren't helping that. And if you oppose the idea of third parties, would love to hear from you. Still, no one has really answered that question. Uh, if you do oppose them, then explain to us why. I know those people are out there. I've met them in real life, so I know they exist. Kevin's in Madison, Wisconsin, listening to the mic 92.1. Hey, Kevin. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Um, in in terms of of why the third party idea is probably not the best, it, it has to do with the way our current election system is set up. And uh, I got a kind of I think it was Chuck who said that the best party system is no party system, and I got to kind of throw in with that one. Okay, uh, I'm with you there. I'll I'm take it. Fun. Yeah, if if we could yeah, get even that some changed. Some of our founding fathers were down with that. I mean, they they had said that they wish there were no parties. But yeah. if you look at the way things are set up now. It's it's pretty much whoever gets the, the largest number of votes. Fifty wins plus the one, election. yeah. Yeah. Well, now so there are other countries. There are other countries where right. apparently this is the same sort of situation, but they have third parties. So, I, oh, exactly. It's the same situation everywhere. But what's different in the other countries is that they had, they do things a little differently. The way our system is set up, if it, it, it like to get back to that to what I was what I was talking about. Um, it's whoever gets the largest number of votes. Now, if you take 100% and divide that by two, that's, you know, the, the split down the middle is 50%. So if you get 50 point, you know, 0001% right. sure. of the vote, you're the winner. But if you've got three parties working in that system, now you're dividing 100 by three. And if you're going, if it's, it's actually possible to win then, with uh, 33 points, say, 3 3 3 3 3 9% of right. the vote. And you have a situation where the winner of the election is actually a minority. Sure. And that's the flaw in our system. What they do in other countries, because, you know, everybody votes everywhere, but they have a different system. Um, there are different systems. There are a couple of them. Uh, they're first, they call them first past the poll. Uh, another one is uh, proportional voting. Yeah, proportional. That makes I think proportional makes more sense than winner take all. Personally. Yeah, there's just about every form of yeah. voting that is better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Or rank you where you can rank the uh, the candidates as well, and that's kind of there's like so there's different ways to actually vote to cast a vote. 
Man, and, the American system sucks. Well, consider yeah. that the Constitution <laughs> was the first republic, really, of its size um, of, for you know quite some time. There's no expectation that they should have gotten it right on the first go round. The sad thing is, is it's just too big to turn around at this point. Kevin, good call tonight, man. Thanks for making it. I appreciate it. Toll-free numbers 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Paige in Tallahassee, Florida. You are on Free Talk Live. Hey, Paige. All right. I'm talking freely here. Uh, you are. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, running campaigns, and I've got the uh, certificate of appreciation from Harry Brown to prove it. Um, I learned a couple of things, and that's studying the issue. People vote. People vote based on two major things. The number one reason somebody votes for a candidate is they know the person personally. That's why people walk neighborhoods, yeah. they can't, yeah. things like that. But the number two reason, and the overwhelming reason, numbers-wise, why people vote for a certain candidate is party affiliation. Mm -hmm. Okay, It's like, why do I go to Walmart or any other retailer? I'm used to a certain thing from that particular brand. Now then, what does that mean for us as libertarians? Okay, uh, My old friend Eric Ritberg, who I went to college with, uh, has it right, I believe, and that is you've got to do your best within that, unfortunately, locked in 200 years ago, the infrastructure two-party system. And I think that with Ron Paul running as a Republican and getting lots of good media and grassroots traction, and his son, only one generation past, actually polling very well amongst that gr this group, Republicans, that is where we need to be. I think we made a tactical error in 1972 by separating from the party. It was like taking the head and separating it from the heart and the body. We need to go back and do the thinking for the party. What party? The Republican Why? Party. Why the Republicans? Why not the Democrats? Because it is the Republican Party where we, fi where we find the most people who still think about the Constitution, the most voters who, who think about freedom. If I go to a place and I want to ask people who here thinks it's important to have free this or freedom of that, and responsibility, and it'll it'll almost always be Republican. I don't know. It depends on who. What, it depends on who you ask and what questions you're asking. In my opinion, I mean, I I find that uh, converting liberals to libertarianism is an easier task in a lot of ways than uh, conservatives. Now, Mark disagrees with me on on that position, but nonetheless, why not? If what your if your statement is that people vote for the party, then wouldn't it make sense to go and take over whichever party is most popular in an area? So, for instance, here in Keene, New Hampshire, Democrats win all the time. Republicans. Don't don't have a chance in hell of winning in, in Keene, New Hampshire. So wouldn't it make more sense to infiltrate the Democrats? You know, you, you find who is uh, the closer to you ideologically and infiltrate them. If that's the strategy that works the best, well, I can tell you that that personal. strategy is working fine in New Hampshire, where uh, libertarians are running as both Republicans and Democrats and actually winning. Uh, in fact, there's there the, the party establishments are so upset about it that they're speaking out publicly and saying things like, you know, free staters are the single greatest threat to the state. Uh, how's it going there taking over the Republican Party in the state of Florida? <laughs> uh, the, the state of Florida is a slightly different animal. And uh, thanks to me being out of the country uh, for a lot of the time the last five years, I, I haven't followed the local politics super carefully. However, I will say this, on a very local level where I did a lot of organizing, uh, a small number of activists can make a huge difference. That's and, true anywhere. Exactly. And so uh, we found that by doing the organizing and helping and helping and working for certain candidates, we were able to get – you know, even in primaries, and that's where all the action is, the low-tax candidate versus the higher-tax candidate, the more freedom the, the freedom candidate versus the not-as-free not candidate, and it just goes across the board. And over time, you know, it's like the mining operation. Eventually, the wall collapses. So now, I'd, Paige, I'd say we keep working that, on these parties. That works. They, the, you know, the, 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 the few activists, the, the small, dedicated, passionate activists uh, working inside the system, that t definitely works. But can you imagine if, for instance, 20,000 of those people happen to be in one small, sparsely populated state, what that might be like? Oh, I, I, I was, I, I've, I've seen the Free State Project since the when beginning. When are you going to sign up, Paige? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to hear your excuses, Paige. 
<laughs> the fact is, is that the activists that are that are getting things done are moving to New Hampshire. Your job's getting harder every single yeah. year Florida's because more of them are freer. picking up and leaving. I left uh, okay, Sarasota, okay. Florida, and you can't tell me that Tallahassee is somehow better than Sarasota. I left Sarasota, oh, Florida, eight years ago for New Hampshire, and I don't regret it for a second. Tallahassee is one of the two most liberal states in Florida. You know that when Cities. Jeb Bush lost his first race for governor, he only lost two counties. I don't Palm care Beach, about Palm what Beach, what's liberal and, in Florida, and what's not, Paige. Yeah, that I want to know when you're going to move. Well, you come down here and take care of my 83-year-old mother, and I'll okay. consider it. Have it, a good one. Family and jobs. They're, they're, those are good, ex- good reasons as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for the call, Paige. Appreciate it. I can tell you that uh, you might as well spend your time on your mom because uh, politics ain't changing in Florida for the better, no matter how much effort you put in. It's not getting more free down there at all. 855 453 Let's Wiley wins. You, yeah, right. <laughs> Keep your fingers cross, crossed on that one. Uh, we'll uh, find out more of what you think coming up here in moments. This is Free Talk Live. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. coffee.freetalklive.com Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, just imagine there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. 
Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you are on hold right now, we're going to do our best to get you on here tonight. But if you don't get on tonight... Don't worry about it. We've always got the next show, which is Sunday night. because we 21 do it. short hours away. That's right. We do it seven nights a week and always live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern time. If we're not live on your local radio station, uh, then you can always call us during our live hours. Talk about whatever you want and then listen later when your radio station plays us and you'll hear yourself on the radio, uh, which is kind of a cool thing. So join us on the phones. You can also join us online at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. I got to uh, do a second theatrical premiere today of Derek J's. You, would, you might ask yourself, how can you do a second premiere? You can only have one premiere. Uh, well, we did one uh, theatrical premiere back in 2012 when the movie was initially released and did a different one today because today we premiered the film fest edition of Derek J's victimless crime spree there are two versions of this very entertaining documentary film which has been a, a real crowd pleaser first of all people love the the movie uh, it it, uh, it may make you cry it may make you laugh uh, more than once during the film i really enjoy it i'm the executive producer of the movie and I'm very very proud of it uh, but it's also responsible for bringing liberty minded people to new hampshire and I think that's its real victory, is that it's a, it's a real beacon for some of the exciting stuff, some of the activism that is happening here. And you can see it for free by going to VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can watch it on YouTube, either version. So if you got a, the full hour and a half, I recommend the, the feature-length one. But if all you got is a little bit less time, like an hour, you can watch the Film Fest version. And it's also very, very good. So go to VictimlessCrimeSpree.com as we go to your phone calls and thoughts. Let's go to Russ in Panama. You're on Free Talk Live. That's Panama City, by the way. <laughs> You're on Free Talk Live, Russ. Panama City Beach, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad to talk to you guys. Welcome. Um, <laughs> that increases your property I, uh, values. I think, sir? <laughs> I said that increases your property values. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if the beach doesn't get eroded away. Mm. Um, I really do support your third-party thing. And, and also, we do have a libertarian movement that is trying to grow here in the panhandle. Mm. That's where I'm at. But we're trying and, to take uh, away your activists. You. Sir? We're trying to take away your activists. Oh, well, <laughs> well, yeah, well, he, I don't think James Morris would be that easy to be taken away. But the deal is, though, really, seriously, you know, a third party and all of that, it's a great idea. I, I would go there. All I'm asking is what can we do to take down the elite media corridor from the Northeast? You know, you know what I'm saying? And we're flyover country, and then there's the West Coast. I, we're fighting a battle against a bunch of elitists. When you say you want to what, take down the elite media corridor, what does that mean? Can you describe a little further what you're getting at there? I I try to tell uh, – there's a lot of my friends and their wives and stuff that, uh, you know, the Today Show and crap like that. And uh, Can I say that on the air? You just anyway, did, and um, you're okay. Go ahead. Um, But – you know, some of these, like the ladies, are just brainwashing their own income in from work, and it's like, that's just, okay, whatever, babe, I'm going to bed. There's so many people I find out when I get out there. I'm a musician, and I work at late nights trying to talk to people, trying to persuade them, look at the alternatives. And there's so many people say, ah, I just don't want to hear it. You know, mm -hmm. I turn into the Today Show. <laughs> So the only way that you can deal you, with you mainstream media, no, from, yeah, I, I got you. I mean, the mainstream media is vapid. It's uh, it's not very uh, intellectual. Vapid. That is a very good categorization. Yeah, that, that, it it. Yeah. It doesn't encourage independent thinking. Uh, you know, it's yeah. it's bread and circuses all the way. And uh, so I share the critique. That's why we're here, right? So Free Talk Live is not a typical well, talk see, show. And, and and well, that's where I turn your show on, and then I'm one of the few. And I'm trying to turn other people on to you guys and listen, listen to these guys. Think, think, think. 
Here's and one of the best things you can do. I mean, besides besides call me sh- crazy, they call me a right wing nut. No, I'm or a left wing right lunatic. Wing one of the two. Nut. Well, it takes time, right? Uh, I mean, you, well, you can't have somebody listen to Free Talk Live once and have them jump on board with the entirety exactly. of the uh, the libertarian ideal. Uh, so it takes and time to yeah, it takes time to have this message sink in. But if if what you want to do is compete with the existing media sort of mega mm-hmm. megalopoly or whatever you want to call it, then you got to create your own media. And if you're not into creating media, then promoting the existing media that you do like is the way to go. And Russ, thank you for doing that, and thanks for the call tonight. And what I would also recommend besides Besides recommending Free Talk Live or what other other liberty shows you might prefer uh, to your friends and you know strangers at your concerts you're going to or wherever, uh, besides printing up flyers and recommending shows, you can also recommend the shows to your local radio station. You can recommend Free Talk Live to your local program director. Now, uh, uh, for instance, if you're only getting three hours a night of or three hours a week of Free Talk Live, well, you're missing out on 18 hours because we do 21 hours per week. We're three hours a night, seven nights a week, we're live. So radio stations who take us just on the weekends, for instance, uh, they could take more Free Talk Live if they wanted to. Or if they're only taking an hour on weeknights, you could ask the program director and say, hey, I really like that show you've got on. Can you put on all seven nights? Can you put on all three hours per night? The evidence is we get the ratings. Uh, We might be a little nutty compared to the average uh, you know, radio talk show out there. We're certainly not the mainstream, but the fact is People listen. Yeah, I don't think we're nutty, Mark. I mean, we're the ones advocating peace. We're the ones advocating uh, people should be left alone to live their lives how they want. That, to me, is not nuts. What's nuts is trying to control other people, and that's what the Republicans and Democrats do. If an opinion that sufficiently deviates from the mean would be considered nuts, then we're nuts. But the fact is is that um, we are run by nuts. This world is run by nuts, and the only sane people are ones that sound completely crazy. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Let's go to Jordan listening in Michigan. You're on Free Talk Live. Jordan. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's on your mind? Hey, well, I was uh, just listening uh, in, on the radio a little bit ago, and you guys had interviewed the guy Paige from uh, Florida, and he brought up some points about the two-party system. Um, I disagree in general that the two-party system has been established for 200 years. I think from the outset of the founding of our country, there was a party system, because you can start as far back as you want with the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists, and yeah, they were parties. Um, But not just a single two-party system, I really don't think developed until much later, because even when the first Republican was elected president, as in Abe Lincoln, there were still Whigs, there were Free Soilers, there were all kinds of other minority parties spread throughout the system. So that being said, I think it's kind of sad that people like Paige believe, well, if you're going to be a libertarian, and a real libertarian, not just someone that would identify as a Tea Partier or a radical Republican, it's not going to be healthy for your cause to just join up and say, well, the cause is lost, let's just be a Republican. What's the point? I'm sorry. I, I, I you know, I, I heard all the the things, but I don't know where you what you wrapped into. You said the cause is lost. Which which cause is lost? Oh. Libertarians. Well difficult because Paige, the, the guy was right. It is difficult as a minority party now, as myself as a libertarian, to say, okay, you know what? We're not gaining any ground. It's going to be easier if we identify as one member of a party or another to try and get our platform started that way. It's just, I don't think it's a good idea for libertarians in general to just be a Rand or a Ron Paul and say, okay, we're Republicans. We're going to run on this ticket but or try and rally more of the Democrats. What if it's party. working? I mean, here in New Hampshire, we've found it to be working. Yeah, but it doesn't work anywhere else, Mark, because nowhere else has the uh, the well, concentration. That's, it, the, it's the God's honest truth that uh, libertarians are wasting their time in 49 other states. I, it's very difficult to tell them. They tend to be people that are you know, very firm in their beliefs. Uh, and, my belief is if you're a libertarian in any other state besides New Hampshire, you might as well just call it call it quits and focus on your business or your, your family. If you want to actually achieve liberty, then you got to get to New Hampshire where you can, get a, you can get involved in both the Republican or Democrat parties and actually have have an effect and actually get elected. Hey, Jordan, technical question for you. My uh, call screener tells me you're listening to the radio in Lansing. What station? It says here 88.9. That's a college radio station, isn't it? Yeah, um, I'm actually just on my way. Uh, I went to that international rugby match today in Chicago, and I was just driving through uh, because I go to Central Michigan University. But uh, I was just trying to uh, find something on the radio. I ended up getting involved in that. Thought I'd give you guys a call. So we are on 88.9 in Lansing, Michigan. That's what you're saying? Yeah. 
Amazing. It could possibly be out of Detroit. I'm not sure. It never gave any type of station. It's probably got to be a pirate. Fascinating. Yeah, must, maybe it is a pirate, but it's very interesting. Well, I appreciate the call, Jordan. Thanks for the heads up. And if you want to check sure. us out uh, when you drive out of the area, you can visit us at freetalklive.com and get us online any old time you want. Thanks for the call tonight. Let's go to Dave in Montana via Skype. Dave, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, yo. Hey, I'm, I'm just the opposite of the caller page. I think uh, the party should have faded away to Shameville by now. USA is the greatest debtor nation. Our greatest export is garbage. Since I was a teenager, inflation went up about a thousand percent. I think that they should be rounded up and arrested the Republicans and Democrats. They're, oh, you are should... a dreamer, Dave. I thank you for the call. We are out of time for tonight. <laughs> thank you, Dave. Uh, Fred in Battle Creek, we don't have time for you, brother. Call tomorrow night. We got the Sunday show. It'll be live. He says he's got a question for you, Mark. So I hope, hope Fred will call back tomorrow for uh, for that one. I'll be here. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. You want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The latest episode of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, November 1st, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.17 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,173 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $324. Antiwar.com reports Special Inspector General for Afghanistan 